All right. Whoa. Okay, that was loud in my ear. <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, make myself appear. I just, you know, started almost dying on a burrito. <laughs> Out of all things, like, oh my lanta. All right. What's up, guys? Holy shit, it's been a while. Um, I'm hoping now to be able to like actually do streams more often? <coughs> oh man, have you guys ever like choked on a burrito before and then like you still feel like a little piece of it? <laughs> Just like dangling in your throat and you're like, go away please? So rude, so rude. Um, also I gotta say I got a carne out of auto burrito and uh, the ones we make at work, so much better. Like it was good, don't get me wrong, but like so much better. Oh, my Lanta. Okay. Anyways, what is up, Connor? I hope you are doing well. It's good to see you, friend. Um, also, I really, really appreciate the the nice comments. <laughs> um, yeah, I just... Saw, okay, so I haven't looked at, like, updates on YouTube in a while. And I do know I, do know I need to post more videos. Um, I am planning on getting back into that as well. Um, now that I have a little bit more free time, I'm currently in the process of being trained uh, to be a manager at the restaurant that I work at. Um, so, so I'm currently in that process. Uh, school is on a break until the 22nd. I start my online class on the 22nd. Um, and then it ends like May 12th or something. And then my math class starts May 13th. And so I'm going to ask my current manager um, if I could take the days that I have school off, like normal, um, and kind of have those as homework stream days. Like, do you know how, like, like so that, that's my plan. Wow, I have alerts off, I have chat off, I have everything off. What is wrong with me? <clears throat> Is it just me or is that kind of like really loud? Lauren! 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 Thank you so much for the five gifted! I don't know why it's playing it five times. It should just play it once, but you know. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh my Atlanta. That burrito really took a number on me. There we go, there we go. Another random guy, hello, hello, how are you doing? You're literally one of the best, um, if not the best YouTubers I've ever seen. Oh, thank you. You deserve way much subs, thank you, thank you. And uh, maybe one day we'll get there, maybe one day. Um, but I really, I really appreciate that. Whoa, 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 I just scrolled all the way down. Hold on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to catch up on chat. Anyways, Lauren, hello, how, hello, how are you? Chris, hello, hello, how are you? Jesse, of course, hello. It's good to see you. Um, I'm a bit tired myself. I feel that. I feel that. Who are you again? Yeah, I don't know. Does anyone really know who they are? <laughs> Has been lying dormant. 
I like how you just give yourself your, the title Editor Chris <laughs> when you're not the only editor. <laughs> but uh, Lauren, thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I just unplugged my ears. Thank you so much. A little loud. Yeah, I don't know why it's that loud. I don't know why. I don't remember how to stream. <laughs> I'm like looking at my sound mixer and I'm like, yeah, how do I turn that down again? I think it's that button. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Unless, hold on. Is it part of... Where is the button? Is it this button? Alerts? I don't know if that's actually going to do anything. I do not know. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, if it becomes annoying, we'll we'll figure it out. The crabs are back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I played it five times. It's supposed to play it like once. <laughs> and the crabs are supposed to be like for multiple gifted. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to like look into that again. Uh, not deafening loud, but the same level as your voice. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, you deserve it? Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, never too much crab rape. Seriously. I, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. Like, when I don't stream, especially for a long period of time, I just, it feels like a part of me is missing. But, like, when you're busy with finals and working 50 hours a week, um, and now training for a manager. It's like hard to find that time. And so when I saw my schedule and John took me off the schedule for today, because otherwise I would be hitting overtime again. I was like, wait, I don't have school. I don't have work. We're going to stream. <laughs> like, so yeah, I'm, I'm really, really hoping that I can have him because my classes when the math class starts is going to be Monday and Wednesday. So I'm really, really hoping that I could get him to have me off on those days. Um, he will. I'm, I'm sure he will. Because um, he's done it the entire time I've been in school. But uh, have me off on those two days. That way I can just focus on schoolwork those days. But also, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, but also just be able to stream. Because my class is going to be over, I think, at like one or something and so i could literally just come home and stream assuming i don't have homework why are we listening to christmas stream beats come on <laughs> it's not that time of year we're not we're not gonna skip there nice shirt thank you thank you thank you it's um what you call it it's uh the haunted homies i should get up and get, and i'm not gonna lie like this is the first time also in a really long time that I am actually wearing normal clothes. <laughs> Cause I kid you not, like for 14 weeks straight, um, I was either wearing my school uniform or my uniform for work. <laughs> like there were like my normal clothes were just sitting in my closet being like, hey, remember us? And I'm like, I do, one day we'll meet again. Uh, I should get up and get ready for work, but I don't wanna, don't do it. It's a trap. That's what I'm saying, Lauren. Just, just skip it. Just call in sick. Be like, eh, eh. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say, Sammy flew. Yeah. Chris beat me to it though. Damn, damn. A good joke wasted. <laughs> I wish I could call in, uh, but I was sick for a full week just recently and can't afford. Oh, I, I know that feeling. I definitely know that feeling. Yeah, it sucks too because like, so I don't know about your work, Connor, um, but we get paid weekly. And so um, if I were to get hit with COVID, which happens, which, well, well, it's happened, I think twice, maybe, maybe three times now. But the last time I had it, it didn't even feel like COVID. It just felt like an annoyance <laughs> like like it was just annoying and so um my manager will not let you come in for an entire week 
which is not fine, but that means I lose an entire paycheck. And I'm like, uh, um, I'm, I'm kind of living paycheck to paycheck right now. Like, I live out of my parents. Like, I live away from my parents now, again. So I, I kind of need the money. And it was funny, too, because uh, last week, John was sick. And so I had a cover for him. And John John actually told me, he's like, yeah, I talked to Kathy, who's the owner. Um, I know I just, I'm just name dropping, but whatever. And uh, I, I asked her, um, who would you rather have overtime, Sam or Myra? And Kathy was just like, Sam. <laughs> like, just instantly, Sam. So, yeah, that's why I worked 50 weeks. Sorry, not 50 weeks. 50 hours the week of finals. Um... Yeah, yeah, the week of finals, and I'm not gonna lie, the pay I got paid today for that, and the paycheck pretty nice. <laughs> it's it's pretty nice, and Kathy even told me she's like, yeah, I figured you probably needed the money, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I definitely did, definitely did. So with that being said, I actually did some adulting, and instead of like, cause my dinnerware that I had was still like the fifty cent plates you can get from Target, that don't get cleaned very well and like when you clean them if they like get like these little, little like white spots and they don't look clean but you know that they are clean and i was like i need an upgrade so i did an adult purchase and uh bought bought dinnerware i i, I bought dinnerware and so i'm super excited because it's coming tomorrow yeah yeah, it's, it's 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 coming tomorrow, and I'm super excited. I'm like, I I'm so ready for this upgrade. I'm gonna be getting rid of my bowls, my my bowls, my plates, and my tumblers, because those are the three things that I'm getting an upgrade on. I'll probably keep a couple of the tumblers, cause it's always nice to have like extras. But the plates are gone. The plates are gonna be so gone that I'm not even gonna be able to see them anymore. Like I want those plates out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Yeah, 50 weeks. <laughs> could you imagine working 50 weeks straight? I could never. Oh, wait. Sorry, John. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's always sick now. Not adulting. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I had to do so much adulting yesterday to make sure that stream today could be possible. Like, I had to do so, like, I had to do so much cleaning. Um, Like, you should have seen my apartment. I'm glad you guys didn't. It was a disaster because you got to think that like, I'm the only one that could clean. However, because Ellie's not going to pick up her own weight. However, she should. Uh, like, can she please clean her own litter box? But, um, but when I'm constantly at school or constantly doing homework or constantly at work, like, <laughs> like, there's no room to like clean. So it was a disaster. An absolute madhouse. And so yesterday I was like, all right. So I literally went to Target. I got cleaning supplies. I got bleach. I got like um, those, like the stainless steel scrubbies. I went to the restaurant supply store. I got a sanitation bucket because I basically live in a restaurant and my apartment is also going to end up looking like a restaurant at some point. <laughs> um, it was just like, like, I just got all this stuff. And then, like, I got, like, a little storage container because my closet was a disaster. And every time I opened it, I was afraid there was going to be an avalanche. So I was like, okay, I'm going to grab a storage container to make it look neater. It looks neater now. It was, yeah. I, uh, it was a lot of money spent this past week to make my apartment feel like an apartment. And not, like, a jungle gym. <laughs> so... I must see your choice in dinnerware. All right. I will admit I do. Um, we're skipping all of the. Uh, what should we call it? Christmas. I will admit I like simple. I like simple is my forte. I don't like anything that's like too out there. I don't like anything that's like, I, ju I just like simple. Oh yeah, I also bought a uh, bathroom countertop organizer so that could finally be organized. Now all I need to 
do is um whatchamacallit. Now all I need to do is uh get under the sink organizers um for both my bathroom and my kitchen and then we'll be we'll be good. We will be golden. All right. Let me Whoa. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I don't leak where I live. <laughs> trying to make sure I'm I'm good and I don't leak where I live. Okay, any leakies? No leaksies, okay. We'll click this picture, any leakies? No, okay. And then this guy. You see my name, but you guys know my name is Sam, so that's 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 no that's 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 fine. <laughs> that's fine. All right, all right. Um, how do I do this again? There we go. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. All right. So first things first, I'm getting these cups to replace the cups I have now. They look nice. They're plastic, even though they look like glass. So Ellie can't break them. So it's a win-win. Um. So yeah, there's there's that. Uh, and then this is the this is the dinnerware that I decided to go for. Like like I said, very. Like I just like the simple. My mo my mom was like, "What is with you and your brother in black?" And I'm like, "I don't know." Like my brother and I, like I guess we just have the same days. So yeah, that's that's the dinnerware I went for. I don't really need the mugs, but I kind of couldn't be like, "Hey, I want everything else but the mugs." So I kind of had to just go with it. And then with that, I got the bundle deal. So it's also gonna come with these bowls. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna come with these bowls, which I really really like. So yeah, I'm getting these bowls, this dinner set. Um, these cups and then because I work in a restaurant and I love to have everything prepped and I want to organize my kitchen like my like my uh, My fridge. I'm also getting deli cups <laughs> So I can have everything just pre-done like I have a whole garlic in there that I want to mince up and put it in one of these um, And just have it in the fridge and every time I need garlic. I just grab it and boop so yeah, those those are that is that is what I ordered. And I'm sup I'm super excited. Super super excited. Uh For my countertop, since you guys are asking. Um <laughs> uh, since you since you're being so nosy, um for my uh bathroom countertop, I got this guy. So I'm, I'm super excited about that. And I was able to get him in one day delivery. I literally ordered him this morning. And he's supposed to be here like sometime around 5 p.m. today. So I'm, I'm super, super excited about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I love, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can tell. Hold on. Let's see if I can do this without fucking up. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I like things that look like marble. <laughs> like, I just have, like, a TV tray next to me that I keep food on. That way I try to keep food off my desk. Um, and I just like the, like, the black, gray, marble. Like, I just like marble look, too. So. What are you uploading, Chris? Uh, gotta buy the sandwich uh, separately, Chris. Whoa. Uh, mine are black um, on the outside and red on the inside. I do have two bowls like that. Uh, those bowls are gonna stay. I love those bowls with the burning passion. Um, and so those, those two bowls are gonna stay. Um, but the cheap 50 cent ones you get from Target are leaving. <laughs> Those are gonzo. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but so yeah, I, I do have um, two bowls like that. Uh, and I, I love it too. I was very, that was actually a set that I was very, very tempted to get. Uh, let me see if I could actually, I wonder if I could actually find the set out. Cause I, I deleted it from my wish list because I was like, yeah, I don't need it on my wish list anymore because I'm getting these. Um, so I wonder if I can re, re find it real quick to show you what was on my wish list that I almost got. Uh, red and black dinnerware set. Literally the first thing that pops up. <laughs> Wait, was that it? Now I'm double guessing. Was that it? Or was it the other one? I think that was it. Was it? No, was it this? I think it was this one. I think it was this one. All right. This is what I was going to get. I have bowls exactly like this. Like very damn similar. Um, so I was, I, I was almost going to get this, but I decided to go a different, a different way. Um, I, I, I like just like the normal, like just plain black. I also almost got one that looked like marble, of course. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, I was just like, nah, nah. And what's nice, that's a little set I have. We would have been matching. Oh man. Um, but yeah, like, um, whatchamacallit, uh, yeah, the one that I actually got, I got off, uh, I got 40% off. I literally bought it. It looks like, it's not actual marble, but it looks like marble. Um, I'll see if I can find it. But, uh, whatchamacallit. Side. Yep, here it is. I literally just found it instantly. Um, this is what I'm talking about. I almost got this too. Like, this one was very, very close. I was very, very close to get this. Very, very. But um, it was either this one or the like the plain black one. Like at the at the end. Those were the two that were like the runner-ups. Yeah, I I almost got this. But then I was like, you know, that might be a little bit too marble. Maybe, maybe a little bit too much. So. Yeah, because I, like, I have a lot of things that are just marble. <laughs> like, my, uh, whatchamacallit, my, um, my TV trays are, like, a marble, like, look to it. My coasters are marble. Like, I just... <laughs> I don't know. I just like the look of like marble. I don't know. I guess when I like finally own a house and I get a countertop, it's it's going to end up being marble. I can tell you that right now. It's going to be expensive as fuck. It's going to be a heavy as fuck, but it's 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 going to be marble. <laughs> it's it's going to be yeah, yeah. Wait, you don't eat ice cream out of the tub, Lauren? Um, I did. I will admit, like, okay, so before our finals, like the week before our finals, we learned how to make baked Alaskas. Um, therefore, we learned how to make homemade ice cream. And therefore, I picked my uh, chef's brains and I was like, hey, if we don't have an ice cream churner, um, is there a way to do it at home without it? And so... They taught me, or they told me, how I could do it at home in my KitchenAid mixer. Um, and so, and we made, I made, uh, we had four choices we could have made. We either could have made vanilla bean, 
chocolate, strawberry, or pistachio. Um, I decided to go with the vanilla bean because if it was what I thought it was going to be like, I was like, I want to make this because it's going to be absolutely bomb. And I was right. It was absolutely bomb. Um, it was literally the best vanilla bean I have, like, ever had. It was way too good. I'm going to move you guys over here. There we go. It was, it was way too good. Um, it, yeah, yeah, it was, it was way too good. And so I picked their brains on how to make, um, whatchamacallit, how to make uh, mint chocolate chip ice cream. And, um, now whenever I get a minute, I'm going to attempt to make mint chocolate chip ice cream the way that they said in the mixer and see how it turns out. It's good, but it's, it's going to be, it's going to be great. It's, I, I, I have strong feelings. It's going to be great. Um, especially homemade. Why is John sending me messages on, what am I kidding? He always sends me messages on Facebook. Spicy jalapeno popper soup. What? <laughs> what? You just sent me a link to... I need this in my life now. I, I need this in my life now. Hold on. Wait a damn minute. Why, why won't it load? <laughs> why, won't, why won't it load? Don't do this to me. Come on, don't do this to me. I don't care for mint in general. Oh, mint chocolate chip is my absolute favorite. It is my absolute favorite. Hey, the spicy jalapeno popper soup is not loading for me. Would you be able to take a screenshot, question mark? Uh, oh yeah, that also reminds me. I thought like when I ended baking class, that was gonna be it. I was like, I might bake once here and there now that I kind of like know how to bake, kind of. <laughs> um, yeah, no, apparently um, I have six fruit tarts in queue to make. I gotta make two by the 27th for um, the owner's cousin's daughter. So I gotta make two uh, for the owner's cousin's daughter's birthday by the 27th. And then in June, I gotta make three for the same person, but for her graduation. <laughs> and then in August, I gotta make one more for another server's wife. <laughs> so I'm like, when did I accidentally start a freaking um, fruit tart business? <laughs> like. I'm like, all right, cool, I guess. I mean, luckily, fruit tarts are, like, not that hard to make. Um, and it's freaking bomb and delicious as fuck. Bergy? I need this. I need this. You will need four jalapenos diced. Four jalapenos diced. Wouldn't... Can't you just say eight jalapenos diced? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, anyways, um, two cloves of garlic minced, six cups of chicken broth, and one cup of heavy cream. Boy. He also sent me blueberry cream cheese egg rolls? What the fuck? Hello? Four for one, four for another. It's a soup! What do you mean? You mean it makes only two soups? Oh, man. Okay, now I... Let me see something. Let me see something. Is John a culinary mad scientist? Yes. Yes, he is. 
He literally texted me yesterday and he's like, hey, if I told you to make a ceviche, how would you do it? And I'm like, oh, I've never made it before, but here you go. Oh, I need to sign in, but I don't know my login info. Never mind, my computer did. <laughs> my computer knew for me. Um, okay, I'm gonna see if I actually just go to the website itself. No, this is not right. This is not right at all. I want to see if I go to the website itself. This was me. Okay. If I can, if I can pull it up. Because I, I, I need this in my life. I, I need this in my life. Where was it? There it is. Yes. I got it. All right, am I gonna? Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna, we're, we're not gonna expose myself. Look at this. Doesn't that look amazing? Like, that looks so freaking good. Four jalapenos, see four jalapenos dies, four jalapenos dies. <laughs> uh, two cloves garlic, six cups of chicken broth, one cup of heavy cream. What's up, Dragon Ball? How are you? How are you doing? He's sitting in his chair with a black cat on his side thinking about... It sure seems like it sometimes. <laughs> it sure seems like it. Because, like, we'll be just working together and he's like, Hey, hey, so I'm going to do this thing. And I'm like, all right. So, like, for example, here we go name dropping again. But this is a situation that recently happened at work. better um anyways so this is a situation that happened at work okay so um <laughs> thank you chris <laughs> thank you thank you uh but yeah this is a situation that happened at work where actually what if i just did this boom how did you survive without us it was awful, man. <laughs> it was awful. But yeah, anyways, okay, back to my story. So, um... So, our assistant manager... Not gonna name any names, but our assistant manager... Uh, her sister was supposed to start working with us. And John comes over to me and tells me about this. And also, her mother was supposed to start working with us. And I was like, I thought you were gonna talk to Kathy and be like, hey... It's probably not a good idea to have family members working with us because if one of them goes on vacation, that's three people out because they're probably all going to go on vacation at the same time with each other. And so, but anyways, so, um, and then her sister no called no showed the day that she was scheduled to work. And so, um, John was just like, uh, saying how like, well, if she doesn't want to work, she doesn't want to work. Like we're not going to force her to. And so, whatchamacallit, um, assi this assistant manager started, like, telling people that John didn't want her sister to work, and so, therefore, she's not working with us because John said she he didn't want her to, which didn't happen at all. And so, when John found this out, he was just like, um, so he's, he's, he said that he wants to have a sit-down and just, like, have... Uh, the owner, the owner's cousin, which are the both people. So the owner's cousin is the one that the assistant manager um, said this to. And then the cousin of the owner told the owner. And then the owner told John. So that's how, like, the, the domino went. So John was just telling me, he's like, yeah, I want to have a sit down. Um, I want us to be at a table where it's John the owner, the cousin, 
and the assistant manager and then john's gonna bring it up and be like hey so uh how come your sister hasn't like started working and like just just bring it up randomly and see what she says because either way she's gonna be caught in a lie <laughs> either way and so like john is basically like this like mastermind of like i'm gonna i'm gonna get people to see people's true colors <laughs> and i'm like damn g <laughs> like all right you go glen coco you go. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh, that's literally it? It doesn't tell you how to make it? That's stupid. No wonder he only sent me the one picture, but I saw these dots and I was like, well, what, what else is there? Blue velvet cupcakes? All right. I know, right? You go, Glen Coco. What's up, Claudia? Hello, hello. How are you? Uh, now I continuously make video games harder for myself after I beat them. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. John's constantly telling me, like, hey, hey. He's like, he's constantly like, hey, G, work smarter, not harder. And I was like, nah, bruh. I work harder, not smarter. <laughs> Whoa, Pyro! Thank you so much for the five gifted. Holy shit. I don't know why that is so loud. Byro, thank you so much. Imagine working smarter. I know, right? <laughs> like, so a, a situation of that is like, he'll just grab like a container of something and he'll go use like a ladle or whatever to like not make a mess. And I'm over here like, okay, I just grab the thing and I just like start pouring, but then I make a mess that I have to clean up. But, it, but, it, but yeah, it, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Homemade caramel sauce. So it's literally just caramel with butter and heavy cream. Where's... Okay. Tzatziki chicken salad? All of what? That sounds bomb. Also, was it Connor that said I missed this? Or was it Chris? Or was it Lauren? It was one of you guys. Who said I missed this? Now I don't remember how far up that was. But either way, I was gonna respond with, um, yeah, I missed this too. Yeah, Connor, Connor. Okay, I see the message. Yeah, I, I miss doing this too. It was so weird not being able to stream. But I'm, I'm hoping. What is my schedule for next week? Because John tends to give us a schedule two times. Like, well, he gives us the schedule for two weeks. So, um, let me see. What does my schedule look like for t next week? Yeah, so I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday like normal. I have Monday off, Tuesday off, and Wednesday off. And Mondays, we're now closed. So. Just saying. Just saying. Medium cucumber. Plain Greek yogurt. Ew. If you're gonna make a tzatziki salad, why not just make a tzatziki sauce for us a salad? Or is that just too, too hard? Irish nachos? I like nachos. Mmm, looking at all this is making me really miss baking class already. <laughs> and I only haven't been there since, like... Pepperoni pizza rolls? Alright, I'm getting hungry again. I'm, I'm getting hungry again. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna turn that off. <laughs> we are gonna turn that off. That just looks way too good. Uh... 
I can honestly say you're the person uh, that got me to challenge myself in The Last of Us. Aw, Dragon. Dragon Ball. That's super sweet. That's super, super sweet. I, on the other hand, like, I don't know. I just like challenging myself in general. And if I can motivate other people to do the same, then that, that's, a, that's a win. That's a win. You don't want to go easy on yourself, you know? Because then how are you going to improve on something if you don't challenge yourself, you know? John, John is a lad. We love John. <laughs> we, we, we love John. He's good people. Thank you again so much for the five gifted uh, viral. Thank you, thank you. Have you listened to the commentary yet? I have not. During the D-Rust run, should I do that? Listen to the commentary? Just do like a D-Rust commentary run? Because I, I have not. I remember two terms ago in intermediate class when we would make gas streaks. I, for the life of me, could not cook sugar. And it kept crystallizing on me. Like, it was just not good. <laughs> like, I, I kept burning it. It kept crystallizing on me. I could not make caramel for the life. For the life of me. But now, after being in baking, where we have cooked sugar so many flippin' times... Like, I can now check that off of my, my skills list. Because if you think about it, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there are, I believe, if I remember correctly, three different meringues. Yeah, three different meringues. French, Italian, and Swiss. The Italian meringue calls for normal granulated sugar, but also hot sugar. So, and you have to get it to a certain, like, temperature, and, like, it is very technique-heavy. Ha heavy? Heavy. <laughs> very technique-heavy. Yeah, maybe I'll do the, maybe I'll listen to the commentary while we do a D-Rust run. Because, yeah, I haven't listened to it yet. Alright, sounds good, Viro. Twas me. But Lauren can take the credit. <laughs> uh, I, I knew it was one of you three, but I couldn't remember exactly who said it. <laughs> okay, I can take the credit. Poor Connor getting it, getting their credit taken. Tisk tisk. It already be known. Upload is finally done. Wait, did you ever say what you were uploading, Chris? Uh, I do need to leave for work early. No, Connor! <laughs> say it ain't so! Okay, if you need to go to work. I, I understand. I, I understand that life way too well. The Last of Us Part 2 Platinum uh, makes me lose all my sanity I had left. Uh... Excuse me, this song is not, um, DMCA friendly. Okay. All right. All right. Let's, let's get into it. I think we're going to do the, the commentary, uh, D rust run. Haven't done it yet. So how do I do the commentary D rust run? How do I get to the commentary extras? No. Making of commentary. Director's commentary. Okay. Wait, where'd my camera go? Oh, there I am. I found me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So if I have that turned on, I just start a run question mark. New game, question mark? Grounded. Yes. We're not doing permadeath. This is a D-Rust run. Start. I was, I'm so used to just going straight, going straight to permadeath. It was so, it was weird.
Hi, I'm Neil Druckmann, and I was the director and co-writer. Hi, my name is Hallie Gross, and I was the co-writer and narrative lead. I'm Ashley Johnson, and I play Ellie. Hi, I'm Troy Baker, and I play Joel. This whole theme came about because we were trying to figure out how do we recap the previous game just enough for people that haven't played it, or might not have been so many years they don't even remember it. So we thought, oh, Joel could confess to Tommy. And this was... I don't know why I, I dug my heels in and I was like, I do not agree with this. And I had such a problem with it because I felt like this was a secret that Joel. I feel like director's commentary, especially a game like this, is always entertaining. Like, especially when you have like the actors we love so much being a part of it. Um, yeah, well, I feel like it's good. To his grave and he would just bear this sin. And it wasn't until we were on set and I'm sitting across from Jeffrey, and I'm watching him just listen to Joel. And every take, we went deeper and got better, and more truth came out. It's really small, but you're right, it's, it's really powerful and intimate of this exchange between these brothers of just how far they've come since he's rejoined Jackson. Yeah. It's become one of my favorite scenes. The meticulousness of this task of fixing up a guitar. <laughs> it's become a scene that I haven't liked seeing <sighs> uh, as a promo death runner. And I remember you saying specifically, it was like, you're really trying to get the grime out. And to me, how that mapped to what he's trying to do in this scene with this conversation is I'm just trying to get every last bit of dirt out. In the original game, we didn't cut to a close up of, of Joel and seeing like what was his emotional state coming into that operating room. That look from Tommy. What do you do? I love this right here. I saved her. And we wanted some darkness around that, that statement of like, the implication is I did whatever I needed to do to get her out of there. And the justification, you know, that comes from that. That is the central question, right? And I think that opening the game on that line is so important because Joel really does believe he saved her. And that's the question for Ellie throughout the game of, did he? True. I so much work we did on the soundscape right here of just leaving you with, with that that kind of uncomfortable feeling of um, it was a good thing, but there was definitely a lot of darkness around it. A lot of darkness. That's an understatement. It's a great <laughs> scene for Tommy as well. And now he's just now he has to carry the weight right. of this thing that his brother did. Right now he's he's not feeling great about it. That's a, lot. That's a lot. He's also a family guy, so he, on some level he gets it. Well, yeah, we know. And he gets what, obviously he knows what Joel has been through and why that decision was so important for him. I told him he was ran some tests. There's something I to me that hits me every time when Ellie rolls over. Mm -hmm. I don't think I caught it as much. I think I was aware of it. Like, Neil, you being a parent, you're more familiar with some of those gestures than I was. Or I am now. Traveler will do this, where he will when I put him to bed or whatever, and he's ready to go to sleep, or he needs to be alone with his own thoughts. He'll he'll do that turn. I've done and that way really too much. Me that that's what Ellie is doing is is just okay. I'm I'm done talking about this now. I just kind of want to be private in my own thoughts. Yeah, I know that feeling way too much. The position that's happening here is we're getting to see the moment he was lying to her while he's confessing the truth to his brother mm. and the differences in those two relationships now and it's um despite how much they've been through and how much ellie has become an equal of sorts he still sees her as his child and if he has to lie to her to protect her he will it was important to get this final handoff of um playing as joel one last time as this beautiful sunset ride towards jackson before we fully kind of hand off the baton to Ellie. But then that's also the part of the game where everyone's like, oh, we only got to play Joel once. <laughs> like, so many people are just, like, actually upset about that, too. Like, I understand their point of view of that, but I also understand that so many people are upset that this is the only time we get to play Joel. Yeah, his child. Oh, that hits different.
This game in general just looks absolutely gorgeous. When you haven't played this game in like a good seven plus weeks, maybe, I think it was actually a lot longer than seven plus weeks. I mean, hence the plus. <laughs> um, you forget like a lot of things. But specifically like how gorgeous this game is. Like, look at this. Gorgeous. Not me crying before I even leave for work. <laughs> oh, Connor. I mean, part one grounded, in my opinion, is a lot harder. It's a lot harder. I forgot we're doing commentary. I'm so used is to just skipping. Hmm. Is there commentary on every right single right encounter or every single cutscene? The garage. Uh, the yeah, exterior garage of Joel's house. Look, mm. she's drawing a deer. <laughs> Ellen. The one thing I don't agree with is by Joel. I mean, I don't agree with either party on this side. I'm on the side of Ellie. I always have been, always will be. Um, and so it's like, I don't, what I don't agree about with his decision making is that neither the Fireflies nor Joel gave Ellie the choice. Being like, hey, this could kill you. What do you want to do? Like, neither of them, neither of them gave Ellie the choice. They were just going to do it. And Joel did just do it. So. You're hearing Sean James, yeah. James song, okay. which was the yeah. song we did for the teaser trailer. Ellie? I was hoping that teaser trailer was actually going to be part of the, the game. Theme that had to build several Still sad that it's not. This room as Ellie has lived in it for longer and longer and got more and more of her I mean, yeah, Joel was the old world that she's not given the opportunity, but, like, neither mm -hmm. was Ellie. I love this moment. It's Ellie wasn't like, given the choice. Uh, hey, how do you... <laughs> Jesus. Do you both remember yeah, when we uh, did this so. scene live on stage yeah. just for an audience of... <gasps> oh. 100, 200 people? Yes. I forget exactly. Like, Jeff Keighley set up this Ashley one night Johnson. live. And, um... I wrote the scene just for There was no that. time to give her the choice. But in the back of my mind, I knew already. The Fireflies could have. The Fireflies could have gave her a choice. So. But yeah, but because like the Fireflies didn't, then Joel had to just act on impulse, you know? So it was kind of a domino effect at that point. Ready, this would be the opening for the second game. Oh, yeah. And that was... Some of that was streamed except for this scene. But I don't think... I still don't think yeah. Ellie... We did not stream the scene. ...knew there was this, that I it was going to kill her. We got it, and then... There was probably part of her that, like, was thinking that it could, potentially. Um, especially, like, when you see all the, like whatchamacallit, the giraffes, like, walking away and whatnot, and she seems super, like, distant at that point. Um, so she probably kind of had, like, a vibe, like, like, here, like, we're getting closer, like, she's probably having mixed feelings, like, I could save the world, but I could also potentially die. <laughs> like, she probably, like, in the back of her mind, I, I know, for me as an overthinker, I would probably be thinking that, too. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. As often happens, there's a team of people that kind of come up to you, and after you go cut, the, you know, best that one. That's that's, that's the take we can go with, and people just kind of clouded around you. And there was a conversation that was happening. We we're trying to figure out what it was, and you were 
I saw you do your, you know, everything's okay, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine. And then afterwards you tell me this story that in Uncharted 3, the ship capsizing was one of the most resource draining, almost game breaking things that you guys, had, one of the most ambitious set pieces you'd ever done. That's very true, Connor. And then in the Left Behind DLC, the photo booth was one of the most mm -hmm. resource draining, almost game breaking things. He goes, up until you decided to put your thumb <laughs> in your <laughs> belt loop. Oh, that's yes. right. Yeah, so actually that, that's funny because yeah, because you did that, um, Joel initially didn't have his shirt tucked in. Um, but in order to honor, again, this little gesture that you did, redesigned his clothing. And, and the way we did clothing on this game is we actually sourced the actual material and um, scanned it. So we had to like source the shirt, the pants, the belt, scan it. So we could do this one gesture that you did, which was like looping your thumb around your belt. <laughs> writing standpoint, this was a, a, a tricky scene because we have to re-establish these characters and their relationship, but also show there's something hanging over them. That there's, uh, we had to honor the ending of the first game, uh, that, that moment of okay, of lie, that again, Ellie, Ellie knows something is off, but she doesn't quite know how to deal with it or how to move past it. Right, so this scene has like, you see at the beginning she's trying to get rid of him and then he wins her over by playing the song and like she softens by the end of it. And it's interesting, they, they talk about of like, you promised you would teach me how to play the guitar and they're talking about like promises and oaths and the idea of um, keeping your promises. And we know this lie is hanging over them. And also not to mention that in the first game, Ellie tried to get Joel to sing something and he's like, no. <laughs> um, and so the fact that like we actually got that is like kind of a full circle moment. I love this opportunity this song gives Ellie to watch him. Yeah. Without confrontation. And again, there's so much beautiful acting that you're doing here, Ashley. I know these compliments are making you uncomfortable, but um, <laughs> I know all the facial like, expressions. Look how much she's processing. Yeah. You could see it. You could yeah. feel it. Oh, Ellie. And again, uh, uh, talking about when characters make eye contact versus not, it's like only when he finishes that he finally allows himself to look up. Barely. <laughs> Barely right there. <laughs> it's a very intimate thing. Yeah. I don't think yeah, I've ever can't been be for more nothing. nervous than I was Finish what we started. in that scene playing that song. Were you more or less nervous when you did it live? For some reason, Playing music live to me feels a little bit more at home, um, but also I don't know if I fully understood what that song meant to you, Neil, mm. and knowing what it was going to mean now to other people once they play the game, and and now there was context to it. Now there was story. Uh, they care about each other so much. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, even Joel didn't know it could kill her until Marlene talked to him. Like, when she said that it grows, grows all over the brain, Joel was like, like, well, no, I, Joel was the one that said it, it grows all over the brain, and she's like, yeah, it does. And so it was at that point that we're like, oh, shit, this is going to end our girl. So, like, even Joel didn't know until he had that talk with Marlene. And at that point, Ellie was still unconscious. Like, so Ellie didn't know. I mean, if Ellie, yeah. Okay. The lighting. I'm yeah, exactly. Ne so neither of them here. knew. Uh, and this was the same pun we had when, we, when uh, you yeah. both did it live. Do you remember the joke? And you could, you could see the, the shift in Joel, like th that song has just shifted the relationship a little bit. It moved the needle. Mm -hmm. He's but I also think, th um, so I do think that's the way, he, that's the reason he reacted the way that he did. 
But I also think it's the fact that he didn't want to lose another daughter. Like, he already felt that pain with Sarah. He didn't want... He didn't want to feel that pain again, and he was going to do anything to stop himself from also feeling that pain again. Standing up a little taller. It's time consuming. (laughs) (laughs) I love how much he's just trying to reach out to her on her terms. Yeah. Yeah. He's still got that in him. Giving her space. Yeah. Still got that. Yeah. Good night, kiddo. Uh. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, and this, again, th- this writing is, is is the same. It's like how this ended was the same as the live version where you just Ashley's the, reaction. The Love it with the capo and being me. But all right, Connor, have a good day at work. Note, linger. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I'm sure he had doom, doom music in his head. Interesting parallel. In Last of Us Part One, Joel wakes up after the multi-year jump Was to, that? to oh. a knock at the door. Oh, I didn't even think accident? about that. Sorry, I totally that there's that parallel. Yeah, initially, we had the whole dance and the kiss in the beginning, mm. and then once we moved it to the end, we had to kind of through exposition and dialogue hint at what happened. It was Justina being Dina. It's Justina being Dina. Dina's doing Dina things. Said, Wait, you kissed Dina? <laughs> <laughs> I love that that scene kind of plays out like an awkward thing between them as if they had kissed last night, <laughs> which is really <laughs> funny. Yeah. You know, it has this like kind of morning after feel, but it's like not about them. Mm-hmm. Which right. Is really charming. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This is so Ashley awkwardness right here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> VV awkward. Awkward. What's up, Mike? How are you? It's kind of fucked up you did that. (sighs) Jesse's the coolest guy. Look at him. He's like, he kissed his girl, and he's like, ah, I'm I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. Smells fine. Okay. All right. Yeah, I feel that Dragon Ball. Hey, is Joel up? I'm okay, how are you? I've been insanely busy, hence why I haven't streamed Sucks. in a hot minute. But I'm, I'm glad you're doing okay with a lot of Shut dots up. at the end. <laughs> um, I, I hope things... You got everything? Yes. Look better for you. Oh man, I didn't get the Heads dressy up. push. The talk the town this Damn morning. it! <sighs> yeah, I've been I've been hella busy. Let me see if I got hella this busy. You kissed Dean. I just finished finals she last week um, for the term. Um, the um, so nice I also words. worked yeah. 50 hours last and week. Uh, this oh, week I'm working 40. That part me. It was a strange night. Yeah, it's it's gonna be. Sounds exciting. Next week, I should be working about 34, so. So I'll, ha- I'll have time to stream so again tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, uh, next week. Right. You and me? Yeah, of course. Dina and I are done. I know. It's just as long as I get all my adult stuff done. We're cool. My adulting. Because being an adult is fun. <laughs> Uh. Oh, Jackson. Oh, hi. Adulting sucks. Seriously. <laughs> oh, man. Especially when it's just you and your cat. Like, and your cat doesn't pick up anything. Want to grab some breakfast? No. Where's Maria? In the back. All right. Excuse me. Oh, Seth. Oh, Seth. Yeah, remember, uh, this this scene was, um, I mean, so much of the story is about 
forgiveness and letting go of stuff and how Ellie specifically struggles with that. And this was a Seven. pretty minor example of that. It turns out I really struggle with it because I still hate this scene. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. You know, He's trying. Too. Look at That's him. what I'm saying. Steak sandwich. He's trying so hard. Look how he wraps it with a bow. The way he starts with like, Aww. look. I'm like, yo, look you. But also like, you can't buy someone's love with a sandwich. Yeah, or someone's no, forgiveness no, with a sandwich. Don't looky hear me. Let's let's I'm just. Oh oh, now it's her fault. Great job. Yeah, I, this scene makes me so mad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm trying to apologize, you little bitch. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, some sandwiches. Oh, well, that was great. Okay. Your steak. Thank you, Seth. Didn't we discuss cutting bacon sandwich because people had such a hard time understanding it at first? Yeah. They kept hearing bacon sandwich. Bacon sandwich. <laughs> Bigot sandwich was that? Bacon sandwich. Yeah. Bacon. I, I can see that. I can see that. What you got there? Bigot sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Smoke. Hallie, you wrote that, didn't you? I, I don't know. It just bigot sandwich feels. feels it does feel very Hallie, Hallie to me. <laughs> I love everything about that. I'm gonna make homemade, um, or homemade carne out of out of burritos, and just have them frozen in my freezer. There's so many like frozen meals I want to like homemade and just freeze them. I just need to like actually have the time to do so, because it's gonna one be better quality. Cause not really. I don't want to do my own heart or anything, but I'm gonna make it. Um, so it's gonna automatically be better quality than already frozen meals that you get at the store, and you'll get more like more for your buck. Can I talk to you for a sec? So, look, I don't know what's going on with you and Joel. Oh, I got you, Lauren. I got you. Cares about you. Once we play Seven Days to Die again, I'll make you one in Seven Days to Die. Oh, wait. Never mind. We only have canned food. Okay. Until the update, apparently. This is why PC's better. <laughs> Yo, Dina, assignments. Just give me it's a probably a spam sandwich. <laughs> oh, this is uh, Dina's big intro. Oh, here she comes. I'm Shannon Woodward. I play Dina. Dina. I had a really hard time hiding Shannon! behind nothing here. Shannon! Well, that's the thing that's so hard about sometimes <laughs> acting in these things is that you ha like the kids weren't there. And then we yeah. like later capture kids and kind of constructed all the pieces. This is a V me lean. I love to lean. I just want to say sorry for running off last night. I actually really love this scene. I totally he died after two weeks. I just, I just, <gasps> oh, I plot love twist. The one liners that you guys kind of riffed on when we were doing the combat stuff for the snowball fight. Oh my God. I still yeah. die laughing when I hear you guys insulting children. <laughs> I think that was really a lot of that was just my instinct. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Your parents don't love you. I guess. Yeah. And then I think I think eat snow, you eat little snow. No, yes. I think you, you little, little shits. Because <laughs> yeah. I think you were like eat snow, and then I said eat snow, you little shit. I God. think it's like I love name calling children. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Is uh, Ellie doesn't want to do any of this. Until They're all she gets a vibe. A snowball, and then it's like let's make these motherfuckers pay. Which is again is a really lighthearted moment of what this Rest whole story is about. You better run, you little shit! Holy <laughs> shit! Get your cover! Go! Go! <laughs> yeah, you better run. run. You better run! Oh, I forgot how to, guys. I forgot how to speed run this. I forgot how to oh, speed run like this. Guys, I forgot how to speed run this. I forgot how to speed run this. I I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We just bullied Eat one kid. Hey. How's it feel? Times when act oh. If you ever I guess like watch know. behind the scenes of like actors and whatnot and like how much they goof around goof around, it's just like it's just always a vibe. So I, I just, I love watching behind the scenes of stuff because it's like, you get to see how they like truly are and like, it's just like, 
It's it's always it's always a good time. It's always a good time. No, 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 Dina. No, 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 no. Thank you. We're gonna stay in front. <laughs> We're gonna stay in front as long. No, no, no. Oh, 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 we did it. We did it. <laughs> we got a Dina push the entire way. All of the horse acting was always very funny to me <laughs> because how that works is you have somebody holding on to a rope and you're just kind of pulling it along, pulling them around. <laughs> like a leash? Fun fact, the ha, guy ha, in the ha. stable there <laughs> is uh, Yuri, who plays Spider-Man in the Spider-Man in Sound oh. King. <gasps> That's Yuri? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this was another big scene. Anytime we have a big scene like this, we can only have so many actors in the volume, so this is captured in pieces. And I, I remember, like, Troy played one of like, the people kind yeah, of like, yeah, and yeah. they were improvising talking crap in the background. Uh, yeah, and it's not there anymore. There was a bit where he said something kind of yeah. goading to me and it's not there anymore. But then every take we did, I'd call him we, a new Chris? name oh, that I thought yes. was like embarrassing. I'd be like, listen, Chad. Define survivors. Survivors of Wait, what? I actually didn't know you. There's only a certain amount of people you can have on the volume. Yeah, just because we like, you start losing data after a while to, to track all the the little balls and stuff. Like, like there's like, there's, it's, it gets fuzzy. Like above eight, I think it just like gets more expensive and you're more likely to be error prone so it needs more cleanup. Huh. Yeah. A little technical information that we didn't know before when it comes to motion tracking. Survivors of being Hi, Sammy's Morgan. friend. And Damn. Damn, G. In The Last of Us Part Two. Ominous. Wait, did I just hear Lord? Here Wait. we have the introduction. Did you just of say Lord? This crew, <laughs> the Salt Lake City crew. What's up, Phoenix? There's How more. are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> Self insert. <laughs> and here we have Laura Bailey waking up. This but not to a knock on the door. The first game of these characters that are haunted by some horrible trauma and can't sleep. The lighting is really nice here. The less controversial really nice character. <laughs> the less controversial? All right. If whatever floats your boat. I feel like she's like the most controversial character in the game. We debated quite a bit of like, how much do we want to reveal for this character when you're about to play as her? Um, versus how much we want to hold off for like the second half of the game when you get to see more. Like so many people started boycotting this game because of her. Maybe we iterated <laughs> a lot of how much snow he should have on him because he was just outside. If he was just outside, he needs more snow. Scenes, I think. What we dreamed of. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. Of. It's important to know that we did not want to cast you in this role. <laughs> I've heard tell. Wow. Uh, just because you're in so many things and you're so iconic. But uh, <laughs> you are the best. Uh, and once we saw your audition, there was no turning back. What are you going to do, you know? <laughs> you painted us into a corner, Laura Bailey. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> oh, I love them. Laura Bailey with all this way. All of the different voices. You sure you don't want to do this when the sun's out? And it's warmer? No. Can't wait. And you don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. At least I remember how to speed run this part. I've done it enough times. I mean you think I would remember how to speed run. Pelting the kids with freaking snowballs, but apparently not. I feel like the farther south we go, the prettier it's got. Whoops. You want to keep going? And just drive all the way to Mexico? I thought about it. You can see Manny's hometown. Whoops. Yeah, I don't see that leading up to his stories. I know, yeah, probably not. If you keep going like this, we're going to be tired for today's trip. Yes. Hey, is Mel oh, okay? On. She seemed out of it these past few days. She'll be fine. You stop being weird. You're freaking me out. I'm not being weird. What is that? You'll be fine. It's too yeah. high. Come on. Wasn't 
the greatest, but wasn't the worst either. It was it was pretty decent for not playing this for seven plus weeks. I'm pretty sure it was probably like closer to like nine or ten weeks, to be honest. It's been way too long, way too long. Whenever my last stream was was the last time I played this. We have to go back this way. Consider it an opportunity to work on your fears. How about I work my foot up your ass? Abby, stop flirting. <laughs> Sometimes I wish they would just like come in with commentary on like just like these little, these little like moments that aren't cutscenes. So the first real big choice this character makes, Abby, of do we turn back or? Does she choose justice? She didn't end up choosing justice, just like Ellie does later many times. Choosing obsession. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. Yeah. Again, this game is all about that. Um, you know, when you're actually learning how to let go, and there. you're in this blank, vo white volume, and we're like, okay, it's do it. snowing. You got to act like you're freezing. There's a town in the distance. It's you know, it's so weird though. Like I never, when I like try to remember a scene or remember performing that moment I never think of it in terms of like oh right we were in this gray volume mm. it's I always had like this visual of every s set that was actually supposed to be there <laughs> and I think of it in those terms but I, I think that's a unique skill that uh, only some actors have really and other actors without that's really cool to be honest costume, they just they can't get into it they can't lose themselves the way like you and Troy and Ashley do when I did this, which is why they're the OGs. Troy was reading opposite me, because he was doing all of the yeah. Abby mm. auditions. Sure, and That's right. he forgot all of the lines <laughs> in this particular scene. <laughs> <laughs> and we were just, just like making stuff up. I remember be thinking like, that went really well. <laughs> this can be very tricky. Just to like write, planned. Also a lot of fun where you're just given hints of this relationship and. Obviously, there's this some kind of triangle here between Abby, Owen, and Mel. And Abby does a very poor job of hiding her feelings. <laughs> it's not just that, though. Should I say congrats? When everyone else sees this, they're going to want to turn back. But it's, it's just interesting that, um, you know, Owen, we're setting up here, he plays this moral conscience for this group. And even here, he's trying to give Abby an, a way out. Not at, any cost. not at any cost. So it's like that's there's a line here for justice that he's not willing to cross, and she hasn't found her line yet. Well, it's also like selflessness versus selfishness, right? He now has, e even with nothing else, he now has a baby he has to think about, right? Which is the same. That's for an interesting way Tina, to put which it. Which is the same for Jesse, which is the same for Joel. That is, but she huh. is only thinking about herself. Well. One could argue Same with Ellie. thinking about her father, that this is all coming out of love, the love she had for yeah. her dad, and the injustice that they all experienced. And Again, sa same parallel Jason. with Ellie. I don't give a fuck. I'm the whole thing on my own. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I'm like, I punched too soon. Well, whoopsie daisies. There we go. There we go. Wasn't clean, but it was all right. Wait, do I have the 
sma like button smashing on or do I have the hold on? I'm like, I don't want to die here because <laughs> I don't remember what my controls are. Hold on, controls. I don't remember where it's on. Wait, is it on? Is it accessibilities? Okay. There we go. There we go. I would have laughed so hard if you died because I couldn't remember if I had it on tap or hold. Yeah, I would have I would have felt so bad. I would have been like, damn it! This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> I'm like, cause on um the PS4 version, I have it on hold. And so this one I was like, wait, do I have it on hold or tap? Could not remember for the life of me. Oh man, I I okay. I punched too late to where it didn't even be close. register. running. <laughs> commentary or no commentary? That is the question. Horse tracks. Where's the patrol? No commentary. Damn it. I just want commentary on everything now. <laughs> Even when I'm running from a horde, you know? I just want insight on everything. This hoodie does look like it's gone through better days. Like it, like it is fallen apart. Even if this hoodie becomes this unwearable at some point, I'm still gonna keep it. Right behind you. I'm like, Naughty Dog doesn't even sell this anymore. Do you miss being with him? With Jesse? <laughs> no. It just it just looks the part now. For so long. <laughs> like it's been through the Look, apocalypse. Jesse's great. I love his parents. They will always be family, but we were just on autopilot. You better start yeah, hand washing it. Fun fact, I've actually never hand washed any Didn't clothes. Feel... So I don't even know the proper way you to do really that. To me about Kat. Cause I'm like, I don't yeah, know this... if I sh like, I don't think you could hand wash clothes about... the same way you could hand wash Ow. dishes. I just, I, I <laughs> like, I don't want to ruin like my her. clothes cause of it. I don't care about her one way or the other. One way or another. Okay. No, I think she's a talented artist. I've grown to like that tattoo of yours. Okay. And I she wasn't right for you. Interesting. Shut up. Okay. You can tie Shimmer up here. Hey. You want to see something? I literally today? had to like ask my mom the other day cuz I was like I'm so used to <laughs> Nothing is that washing nice. dishes and washing like a sanitation oh, bucket like in the restaurant and using our dishwasher like to be able to wash that so i literally had to call my mom yesterday i'm like hey i have the sanitation bucket it had bleach in it am i able to throw it in the dishwasher or will it ruin the dishwasher because like my mind was like i didn't I know because like i know the commercial dishwasher but I didn't want it to like accidentally nice. ruin a hand or a home. Yeah, this root has its. Place. Um, what you call it? Yeah, a uh, home 
dishwasher I'm because saying. like they're built differently, you know? Come on. I'm like, I don't, yeah. so I had to call mom just to make sure be like, hey, I didn't want to break the dishwasher because I threw bleach in it. Who do you used to do this route with? Jesse? Eugene. And my mom was like, will it fit right. in the dishwasher? And I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> it will. Man, he was funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just be gentle with it. Plus, he taught me about rewiring electronics and stuff. May we all be that sharp to 73. May we all make it to 73. May we all make it to 73. I mean, uh, just shove it in some water and add detergent. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. That makes sense. My guess would be like hot water though. And then it would have to like air dry. Sign us in. What was this place? Uh, it used to be a radio tower. Yeah, this, this hoodie. Ah, I keep unplugging myself. I need to stop doing that. But this hoodie is still like one of my favorites. It always will be. Come here. This hoodie has way too Time many. Heads our last stop. Take a look. Way too much meaning to me. There's the town. With the big tower thing. Yep. That's where the next lookout is. <laughs> he wouldn't know what hit him. Get back to the horses. Uh, poor Gordon Ramsay. Question. Those same clothes yesterday? They're clean. That's how that should be done. It's if I was speed running, cool. that's how that should have been done. Infected, not to look fancy. I just kind of want to speed run the hell out of um, Jackson. Come on. I had a Kit Kat in my pocket. Oh, I've had that happen before. I've, I've had to happen where I forgot that I had like a Reese's in my pocket and then I pulled it out and it got smushed and then I had like to clean chocolate out of my pocket. No. Yeah. Old age. <laughs> I hate when that life. happens. You? No way. Come on. You're way too reckless. Oh, look who's talking. Well, you'll probably die from hypothermia from wearing canvas sneakers in the snow. I am wearing boots today. One way or another. Hey, should we check these houses out? Nope. Seems quiet, but we can if you want. I bet they still got supplies. No! All oh, because I ran into a bush. Fuck. The temperature dropped. Badasses wear sneakers in the snow. That's what I'm saying. I wore my Converse like two weeks ago for the first time in like seven years. It's sad to say like I clearly haven't grown because it's still uh, they still fit me. How many you think it would take to bring down a moose? More than one. Where the hell are they? Let's go find them. And my Converse have also seen better days. Oh, damn it, I didn't get it. Damn. That's just unfortunate. Super unfortunate. Go. 
Any ammo? No? Okay, cool. That's fine. I didn't want your ammo anyways. Looks like it. We still gotta get the ones in the supermarket. One way or over another. Me. Oh, I need to Snapchat a couple people real quick. Hold on. Where'd, where'd, where'd Snapchat go? Hey, could you guys smile and chat real quick? Help me up there. Wanna look around. To be part of the picture? <laughs> Frowns. Hey, man. Um, there's a hole in the I didn't see over frown. There. Turn that frown upside down. Here. Thanks. Look. See? All right. Let's figure out how to get in there. <laughs> oh, I forgot I'm holding. <laughs> Hold on. Ellie? Let's do this. Are you clean? Yeah. Just banged up. Please don't there you go. Age and not because you get infected. I really don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Deal. Wait, where's the bottle? Cool. Oh, there it is. I was just, you know, standing on top of it. Rounded difficulty. <laughs> Hardy heart heart. This way. What if I just threw that? That would have been so sad. I'm in. Aw oh, man. I didn't get the hand through the damn it. Hey. Got some alcohol. Couple of rags. First time streaming so in a hot minute. Okay. There we go. One of my uh, culinary friends wants me to teach her how to stream. And so we have a group chat with us three. I see spores in there. Um, I would That's love fun. to bring them Got onto it. stream sometime and do like a cooking stream with them. I think that would be so much fun. Remember. So yeah, I was just Snapchatting them real quick, being like, first time streaming in a hot minute. All these spores mean they've been here for a while. Keep your eyes peeled for older infected. Is this part of the supermarket? I don't know. All right. I think we're above it. Grab that. There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> or it just instantly. <laughs> Another random guy just instantly. Oh, I love it. Hey, I mean, you did ask for it. You did, you did indeed ask for it, so. Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> oh, 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 one of them's responding. One of them's responding. Here we go. There we go. Who needs to play this game constantly? <laughs> when you just have played it so many times for like two freaking years in a row that everything's just muscle memory at this point. Should I should I do the safe strat or should I do or attempt the speed on strat? I mean we're not on like we're not on permadeath, so it's not really gonna matter. But should I should I attempt the speed run strat and see if I remember how to do it? I mean, I remember how to do it, but to see if I can do it. I'll make you a present. I'll take a present. Here. Thanks. Careful with that. I'm a pro. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, 
Uh, guys? <laughs> what the? Uh, I meant to do that. Nope. Yeah. You know what? I'm impressed with us. Man, you guys are not going to believe our numbers. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next lookout and take a photo break. I can't believe I just pulled that off. After not playing for how long? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're just gonna Holy me up to that shit. Okay. Even when I play cons Can like constantly, sometimes I can't even do that. There you go. Oh man, I miss this game. I was seriously having The Last of Us withdrawals. I'm not gonna lie, that was super satisfying. That was a super satisfying. Over here. <laughs> I think that was the world record. Definitely wasn't, but I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. No. Oh man. <laughs> Again, I just unplugged my ears. I know. Keep going. Too bad I can't just like, cause you know, like in Fortnite, how um, you could have your character just move automatically with the press of a button. Too bad I can't do that here, so I could just keep, just keep going, uh, and then um, and then plug my ears back in. Mad Max, hello, hello, how are you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, I just love this, by the way. Tell me something uh, that I wouldn't know about this game. Tell you so, I don't know. Like, cause the problem is I don't know what you do know. That is the issue. Yeah, that's the issue is I just, Hmm. Hmm. You been here? Road by it. Might have been inside. What's going on here? All this electronic stuff? This has to be Eugene's. Did you know you can stealth kill a shambler? If you have an upgraded weapon. Did you know place. that? If you die in Abbey, Seattle Day One chapter, Joel never dies. <laughs> oh man. Also facts. Also facts. Real dark shit. Like what? He said he blew up a checkpoint at Denver QZ, killed three soldiers. And two civilians. Jeez. Works better on permadeath. True, true. There's no responding at that it. point. He and Tommy so instead, I will say this game has now? lost levels no, no, I, that I you can play to. through. True, true. He could do worse. Those are also fun. Those are those are very fun. Did you also know you can huh, stab? A shambler three times to kill it. I bet you could mod your gun with this gear. Oh, hello, Ellie. 
Look at the floor. Yeah, yeah, that's for real. There's more stuff That's for real, there. all right. You see a way down? Uh, not here. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Come on. Yeah, if you have an upgraded weapon and you sneak behind a shambler, um, you can stealth kill it in one shot. But if you don't have an upgraded weapon, um, you can sneak up to it three times and stab it, and it'll still die. The problem is sneaking up to it and stabbing it. <laughs> that's that's the problem. But um, but yeah, yeah, you can you can stab a shambler three times and it'll die. There we go. All right, more commentary. Let's go. Does weed go bad? Mm -hmm. Let's find out. The infamous weed scene. Are we going to talk about how we did this twice? We have oh, yeah. Oh, we, yeah, oh we had a whole God, other yes. version of the scene that was a little too oh, earnest. Really? Yeah. And we rewrote it and we captured it. How do you, you mean describe by that? it as earnest? Because I felt that it was, it was, it was literally a fight until yeah. she's like, okay, I love you. It also felt that fight was trumping some stuff that happens later in a theater mm. once we're in Seattle. Mm. So this was like a moment to give them pure innocence before we go on this violent know. journey. I remember, Neil, when you pitched the idea that like she throws the glass and I, sh I was still to this day, I'm like, but what if you smoke glass? I'm yeah. really concerned. Glass. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That is very disturbing to think about. Not disturbing, but like a while, right? concerning to think about. That's the word. Uh, kissing scenes in performance capture is really hard. I feel like the, the, the hardest part about it was when we would have to do the ones where we would have to be standing. Uh, do I need to upgrade all my weapons? Oh, yeah. That was really embarrassing. We would just have to be like. Mm. In order to yeah, one we shot. One where it was just you standing there. Uh, in order to one side. shot kind of kissing the air, melee so kill a shambler, the melee it. weapon yeah. does Shambling. need to be upgraded. Why do you need, yes. you need the front of the face? The front of the face is <sighs> did it again. being used. Well, because they animate it from like all angles, even though you only see the, yeah. like one side. I feel like if I had to do this with anybody else, it would have been even more uncomfortable. But because Shannon and I got so close, it was helpful to sort of, when we had to do those awkward sort of kissing moments and we weren't actually being able to connect with each other physically and feeling awkward and weird, we would still be holding on to each other. So it still felt- We were like minorly cuddling. Minorly cuddling. <laughs> so you're like, well, at least there's like a little bit of something Like here. intimacy. There was yeah. still some form of intimacy that it was like, all right, I still feel safe. I don't feel like I'm like flapping in the wind. And, and you're in a brightly lit room. Very brightly lit room. With a bunch of technical engineers like standing all around you. Yeah. But we found ways, we found ways around it to sort of still be able to, you know, connect with each other and not feel so weird. I mean, what you're doing is, I think, pretty hard of you're trying to convey years of relationship with this other per your best friend, and it yeah. all has to come across like there's just so much history, and yet there's this still awkward thing that hasn't been realized until this moment. Have you met you? Have you met you? You make me want to go back outside into that blizzard. She's got to flick that joint really aggressively in a second. <laughs> Ellie's so cool here. Look at how cool. Be she is. aggressive. Be be aggressive. This better be better than a six. Yeah. The flicking always made me it's uncomfortable. Very I was like, what if it, it what if it catches on fire? It's a very dry space. It is a very dry space with so many plants that could just burst into flame. Is there... I wonder if there's director commentary on the, um...
take uh take on me song I just completely blinked on the name of the song for a second that was embarrassing Has to be. We're gonna find out. Excuse me. I didn't ask to be slapped like Chris did. Just putting that out there. We're gonna we're gonna turn that down because it's always always super loud. If <laughs> not, demand a refund. There was no director commentary here. I demand director commentary. The one guy that saved her life is the one guy she wants to kill. Well, I think it speaks to the nuance of atonement, right? It's like she ultimately will save two other kids in trouble. But is that enough? Does that make up for anything? I mean, technically I didn't ask, or I did ask to be slapped and I didn't get slapped. I dodged it. But, but she almost got me. She, she almost got me. From India? Oh man, that is far away. How is it living in India? Boom. 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 Woohoo! All right. Ammo, ammo, all the ammos. Not gonna die today. Hype. That's our way out. See a way out there? Here, use this. Hey, girl! Give us a hand with this thing! Push it up under the car! Get inside! I'll get the gondola to the As the music video. Alright, I'm gonna do what I do best and uh, run in circles. You spin me right around, baby, right around. All right. Nice, Joel. Keep on going. You got this. Whew. No. You get away from Tommy. Oh, the clicker's right there. All right, we're going the other way. I have one bullet and a dream right now. One bullet and a dream. Whoa! That <laughs> was a close one, man! Alright, I'm on my way, Tommy. Hey! Through the window! Let's go! Nice. Oh man! What? You remember dialogue? <laughs> I know it's almost like I played this game a thousand times or something. It's almost like I have 1700 hours in this game or something. Oh, wait. So we wanted to create a scenario for them where, again, and Tommy trying to do the right thing and create some trust between him and Abby. He inadvertently reveals who they are. And you could see right now, right there, like Abby has this reaction that only makes sense for players in hindsight, knowing who she is. So now her goals become different, not only to escape the horde, but to get these two back to her people. This is where we see Joel doing something that, for us who have spent so much time with him before, is preternatural to him. It's 
To trust someone is really, really hard, but he's choosing to do it. And the problem with choosing to trust people is you always, every time, open yourself to getting hurt. That's just such a lore. I'm excited yeah. for uh, for part three. <laughs> I'm really excited for part three. See what happens. See this see what see what route they go in. <laughs> a bit of a pickle. Uh, we love we gotta love pickles, man. Get us out of sticky situations. Slicing pickles though is, is super the, annoying. The weapon four comparing scars. It's, I love it. Look at those arms. Really jacked. Dina's hot. <laughs> so is Ellie. <laughs> They're hot. Yeah, we're hot. Yeah, we're hot. <laughs> the delay. So is Ellie. Here being a large discussion. Armpit hair with, uh, with Ashley office. Swadowski, who is our character art oh. director. Yeah, and how much body hair should the girls have? Mm. And what are we okay with? And like, let them be natural ladies. I love it. Yeah, also, like, I can't imagine, unless you'd, like, take oh broken God. glass, which would be super dangerous. <laughs> um, I can't imagine them having, like, r razors to be able to really shave, you know? It's on, it's, it's on the tip of her tongue right there. That's a hard thing to say to somebody. Like, oh, I'm the only person that doesn't really get affected by this thing that's completely ruined the world. <laughs> I used to think about that with uh, COVID, like, but apparently I'm true. not it immune does. to COVID. Yeah, it does. This still yeah. happens. Yeah. I, this her. scene, because we did it twice, some, sometimes I'm like, I don't remember which, because we, sh both times we did like, it was like five hours. Yeah, they were big yeah. days. Fucked up teeth marks and cysts and. Ow! Fuck you. Well, uh, hey. <laughs> I told you a real fucking story. I did tell you a real fucking story. Oh, you want a bite mark? What? Oh God! Oh, here comes Stephen. I remember how uh, Shannon, how angry you were at Stephen. I wasn't angry at Stephen. <laughs> I couldn't tell why I was mad, and then I we. This was the only real thing I actually fought for was was this was to make him turn around. <laughs> it was with you, and I was like, he needs to turn around, and you were like, why? Damn and it! I was like, every time. And I, it took me a while to explain it to you, and then when he I did just need it, to get wireless, then you were like, I get it. Because I was wireless like, no, headset. I have to protect her. Pretty sure that was in the script. No, it wasn't. Like, it was the only <laughs> argument we had. It's been three years. I don't remember. Oh, You're yeah. probably it was right. Actually, I remember this. It was the only we thing I argued with you about, and it was because I felt so protective of Ashley that I knew it was right. That I was like, because we were so close that I was like, turn around, she's naked. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, because you guys knew each other intimately, but yeah. Ellie and. Exactly. And because I had to, like, I wanted to prove to you that I was loyal to you and not embarrassed because he was there. But I love it. I feel like it shows so much. Oh, I love that. I never even thought about that. Strong. But I love that. And how loyal and sort of just, uh, I don't know. I love that. Okay. I, I, I like Dina more now. No matter how many times she's killed me. No matter how many times she's been the cause of my death. We really wanted to show or build trust between Joel and Tommy and this group to show that. You've only completed it two times? I mean, hey, that's still that's that. still a good I mean, amount. That's more than a lot of people. A lot of people haven't even finished it once. Because they can't even get Because they can't even get past the Joel situation. I think I'm like screaming out to all like the actors, okay, now they're burning. Now like there's a lot of fire. <laughs> and you gotta speak up over the storm. You know, none of those elements are there. Let's get inside. And right now, only Abby knows what's about to go down. Everybody else thinks like, oh, we just found friendly people that helped us along. Nora! I feel like I'm like one of the few people in Abby's gang that like actually likes Nora. We captured this all as one go from yeah. here all the way to the golf club hit. And um, initially we had versions of it where it was edited to be multiple cuts. And then it felt like it could just be way more tense if the whole thing was one shot. If it just um, flew together, that makes sense. Different performances, different elements, and some tweaking of stuff in animation, but. Um, I find that this scene has so much tension that the way it now moves. 
We rehearsed it so many times before we shot it to make all the moving parts work. I can't even imagine how many times they had to shoot a scene like this. You're trying to pay attention to so many actors and making sure it's all feeling honest and authentic. Y'all should come back with us, restock before you head out. Appreciate it. Yeah, there's there's no go. ambush here. They're all being authentic this might be awesome. until this moment. And now everything has changed. Now everyone's like, oh, fuck. We knew this was going to be the most controversial scene in the whole game. And that, and the intention is that it is brutal and it is hard to watch, which obviously as a player is really difficult to go through, but it puts you in alignment with Ellie. You're watching this <laughs> devastation to this man that you've come to love as a character. And now you're watching him be tortured, brutally murdered. Yeah, there's that, that too. It should be upsetting. It should hurt. It, a lot of people are still really upset about it, but <laughs> yeah, they are. A faster way, it, like I can't think of a faster way to help you understand why Ellie is gonna go as far as she's gonna go because we are there seeing how this thing was stolen from her. Yeah, and then there's still people like upset at Ellie that she can't let it go, and it's like, bruh. Like we literally just saw what like happened. Want him to suffer. Like we lived through it first, and then Ellie has to live through it. And it's like, so we we see both sides of it, so we understand Ellie's pain. So I totally understand why Ellie goes as far as she goes, because I say this so many times. If it was the apocalypse, and I saw. What happened to Joel happened to my brother. I would go on a fucking rampage like Ellie did. I would, without a doubt, would go on a rampage. I would have a hard time letting it go. I would be traumatized. I would, like, all the emotions that we see Ellie go through, I can see myself going through that, too. So, like, when people are like, we'll just get over it, like, it's, just, it's like, Put yourself in a character's shoes or another person's shoes for that matter of fact. And he's not giving you the satisfaction. He's like, I don't care who you are, do your worst. Mm -hmm. And you try, yeah. you try to do your worst. You try. Joel's not a man who begs. Yeah, this is a conversation I had with Troy about how prepared he was. He, like, he's, like he's lived for 20 years, 25 years at this point of like, just always accepting that this day might come. Something like this will happen because it always happens in this world. Yeah, it's irrelevant to him who they are or why they're doing this because there are so many people who could want to do this to him. Right. Given the life he's led. Right. I just remember shooting it and being like this moment you've worked towards for so long and wanting it to feel right and wanting it to feel good and it happens and you just feel fucking empty. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because everyone also thinks that, like, revenge is the way to make you feel better. But in reality, like, like, it's still not going to bring the person back. About this role, and you told me about this character, Abby, and you told me what you were planning for her. And she had, like, a different story, I think, at the time, mm -hmm. um, how they met and everything. But I was excited and terrified because, like, as a player, that's traumatizing. And I didn't know how people were going to react to it. <laughs> and they reacted the way... Oh, they reacted probably the way they you were not expecting. Getting death threats and shit. Like. Joel! That whole Tell situation me! was freaking. No one deserved to get death threats because of that scene. No one. No one deserves to get death threats, period. I need to wash my, my, uh, I need to wash my mouse pad. Does anyone know the proper way to, to wash a mouse pad? Like, I don't know if I, like, if I bleach a mouse pad would... I mean, obviously not use too much bleach, but like if I use a little bit of bleach and water and soap, Joel? Could, could that clean the mouse pad or would that ruin it? Where is it? 
The reason I say bleach is because, like, it's a white mouse pad, but it's, like, all Japanese-y, where it has, like, red, um, fuck, jasmine blossom flowers and, like, mountains and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, we had versions of the sequence where Ellie came in after the fact, and it just felt we needed her to see it to really set up this journey. Yeah, this was rough. This was a rough day on set because I knew we were losing a character that we all love very deeply. Dish open and water? Even okay. The imaginary circumstances of that are just hard. It's also our, you know, all of our friendship, my friendship with Troy. So just seeing that and... Uh, what I remember more than anything is, um, you know, we're going through the mechanics of it. We're stupid suits on a sound stage, <laughs> and there's all of these stupid suits and, and things that are keeping it goofy. But the one thing that cuts through the din of all that is when, when I look over at Ashley, um, like all purpose cleaner, because Chris, being the great actor that you are, um, all of those things go away, and all you see is the moment that we're trying to create and the reality of what this scene is for you personally and everything that I'm feeling, everything that I'm doing. Sorry to pause it in like the worst time possible um, to talk about this, but like the reason I was thinking bleach is because like, it's like pretty, like there's like dirt caked onto it. There's like a couple stains caked onto it that I'm like, maybe I need to use bleach to try to get those out, to get it back to, to get the white parts back to white. I don't know. Everything is gone because I'm just watching. And I don't know if I'll ever be able to watch that scene without it bringing me to that place ever. Um, but the thing that I has been proven to me is because of the way that I feel, because it's so hard, it is absolutely the most honest. Something I just thought about too is like it's, actually unbelievable that Manny is the one that stopped, uh, sorry, not Manny, Owen is the one that stopped Manny from killing Ellie. So Owen is the reason that Ellie's still here. But then Ellie ends up killing them. So if Manny did the job, Owen and Mel still would have been alive. That's crazy to think just about. Perfect. I didn't realize that until just watching story. this. There's no other version. I haven't watched these cutscenes in ages. And for, for this version of the scene, it was important that we were in Ellie's head. That you don't get to hear this conversation that's happening around her. That this was just about the ringing of the ears, the pure hatred and anger that she's experiencing right now. That's crazy to think about. All but one, yeah. Ellie? Just this, this Ellie. final look right here where she sees him and... What's up, Joshua? How are you? Yeah, we're doing the, um, we're doing a deep a rush run while listening to the director commentary. She's gonna try to find a way to fix it in the best way she knows how. Yeah, technically all but three. Technically. How are you doing, Joshua? It's so good to see you. It has definitely been a while. It's it's definitely been a while. I love this scene with you and my school Jeffrey. term kicked my I ass. With, <laughs> with that and work, I, I had no one, time. This was one of my favorite scenes to shoot. I love working with Jeffrey. You're so brilliant. How it goes from this really sad, mournful place to just slowly rage over time as you're not getting what you want. Also, this emptiness you have for just from that look out at the window there to like this, that like bereft, it, it's just really, it's just really right on point. It's just so good. Hey. Hey. Jeffrey here is, is quite brilliant. Is like, yeah. To answer your question, um, and I'm going to say this in the most caring way as possible to Tommy. I hope he stays in Jackson <laughs> because if he were to go on another adventure like he did in this game, 
the dude's gonna die. Like, he is not, he did not end part two in a, in good shape. Like, he, he would not have the capability to fight against hordes. So I, I hope, I hope for the love of everything, he stays in Jackson to make sure Jackson stays running. How did you do in the terms? Good, good. Um, yeah, I'm still a A B uh, culinary student. Yeah, yeah. Um, finals were last week, and so I'm like, yes, I can finally get back to streaming. It felt weird not being able to do this. Busy here and there. I feel that. I feel that. I mean, I've, I've been constantly busy, but I, I get you. But I'm glad that you can't complain. Uh, I'm hoping for part three, of course, uh, and revolving around Tommy. I'm not uh, about that one, but he appears. Yeah, I think he'll still appear here and there, but um, I, I still honestly feel like part three is still going to revolve around Abby and Ellie. I honestly believe that. Um, Evelyn, thank you so much for the membership. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I don't know where my alert is. But thank you so much. But yeah, um, I honestly, like, and not only that, but like the fireflies again. Because uh, I remember Neil Druckmann already confirmed that when you finish... Uh, part two, the the title screen changes. And that title screen is the boat on Catalina Island, where the fireflies are. So my guess is it's still going to revolve around Abby and Lev, and Ellie, and the cure, and the fireflies. And Abby finding the fireflies again. That, that, that's what I'm thinking. He uh. has to... He wants to go after the people at Herschel. So there's like the emotional part of his mind and the the rational part. It's good to see you too. And like he's trying to do what's best for Ellie. Damn, I missed you guys. It's not worth it. I also really love how the blocking of the scene worked out. Because with us playing as Ellie, I'm, I'm hunting Neil down. Because <laughs> be another parallel with Ellie oh, or Jeffrey's Joel. Voice. It's so. I have a strong feeling this is not going to happen, but I would love to see a moment where Abby and Ellie put their differences aside and have to come together and fight side by side to get back to the, to the fireflies to get the cure. Like, that is what Ellie wanted. And Ellie feels empty knowing that she could have been the savior of mankind. But then Joel took that from her. So I feel like in part three, that's going to be her ultimate, like, redemption arc. So... I would love to see a moment where Ellie and Abby come face to face again. Knowing that Ellie is the cure for mankind. And they have to put their differences aside and fight side by side together to get back to the fireflies. That's what I would love to see. I would love to see those two badass women fighting side by side with each other. Would it happen? Probably not. But I would love to see it. They have the guys that we would need to do this smart. We'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. I love it. It's like the, the one time you look at him is to make him feel shame. Like, are you really saying this to me? The only time that there's confidence there with her is when there's anger. I know it's not gonna happen, but what if we get hit by hunters again? can't blame a girl for dreaming. <laughs> it's a valid point. I would love to see that happen. Abby and Ellie fighting side by side, which is true. Well, we had actually lines here where he counters that, and he says, 
Joel never went after the people that killed his daughter. Like, because we, we, we really wanted to flesh out the point that, like, Joel is more pragmatic with his violence, where Ellie is, comes from a much more emotional place with it. Why didn't you guys keep that in? It just felt like we we're just too, on the too, much, too much exposition about the previous game. We wanted mm. more to stay in this moment. To, like, there's other ways of, to talk about what Joel did in other spots. And really that makes sense. About I would have liked to hear that conversation going too, after, though. Going after Abby. Being like, Joel never did. No idea what you're walking into. If I, if, oh, if I was Ellie and, Joel, and Tommy said that to me, Joel never did that. I would be like, I would probably pull a Joel and just be like, like, like when, when Tess died, just be like, um, this is how the whole thing's going to play out. <laughs> you don't talk about Joel, <laughs> but it's just like, I don't know. I, I would just be like, do not compare me to him kind of thing. Like, I hate it. I mean, this is coming from a sibling, but like, I hate it absolutely hate it when people compare me to my brother and they do all the time but my brother and I are completely opposites we are total opposites and people constantly compare me to him and I'm just like come on man like I love my brother I inspire my, my brother inspires me so much but we're all our own people you know so like why and like when people constantly compare you to somebody else, especially as a young child, then you start constantly learning, being like, oh, I need to start comparing myself to other people to get to where I want to go. And so then you get into the bad habit of comparing yourself to other people. And then when you don't do something as good as someone else, then you start being hard on yourself because, oh man, damn. What's up, Rachel? How are you? You don't know how large that group is. Don't care. You can't talk me out of this. I can't get this, this moment of decision where he's like, in order to protect her, I'm gonna have to go by myself. And he's like, now he's lying again. Not dissimilar to Joel lying to Ellie to protect her. I'm doing pretty like okay, Rachel. Pretty I'm sorry to hear that you're tired. There's gotta be some folks you can spare. Why the choice of the hair piece coming down? The little hair string for, for Tommy. There's a little bit of design, like Abby has something similar as well. So it's like there's um, what animators call okay. secondary movement. So as when he's moving around, he does just physics on the hair. It's just you know, one more way to just bring the CG character to life. Yeah, it's also huh. such a flex because it d really so doesn't hard. look good in the other games. <laughs> like, it's yeah. just like it looks amazing, and it's like it's it feels it's just like such a subtle flex. Like, look what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> I love this this hug that then it's just too painful for the two of them. They can't stay in that moment. Uh, that's uh, too uncomfortable to be vulnerable. Doing this director's commentary was such a good idea. Such a good idea. I'm loving this. And we're only at the beginning of the game still. We're barely getting through prologue. And I'm loving this. I will say once we get past prologue, I am going to take a quick bathroom break. Because I almost drank this entire thing of Dr. Pepper. About, you know, when, when, um, and your girl's got to go. Real until you're at his grave. Like there's a part of you, uh, maybe because you, like, you play video games, you watch a lot of popular movies, you keep thinking he's going to come back somehow. And then it's like, no. There's his name on that gravestone. And then the famous Gustavo All Gone, another version of that theme. It was hard. It was What's hard. up, Christopher? Joel's yes, yes. Um, I have and beaten this game. I, I wasn't ready to let him go. So seven or eight that, times even on permadeath. Even that of seeing, you know, oh, we're doing a scene where we're at the gravestone. But we haven't played this game in a hot hard. minute, so we're currently doing a, a de rusting run while listening to, um. The director commentary. I love it. I love that Dina was there the whole time and we didn't know that yet. Not looking on, just sort of giving Ellie her moment. I remember when we were doing that, I really did feel like I was like really trying not to listen to you. I felt that too. You did? <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm right here. I you love know, those two. You know, you, you have your privacy, but 
If you need me, I'm here. I love those two. I built that too. Oh, I love Ashley. I would love to meet Ashley Johnson someday. I would love that's that's on my bucket list. That is on my bucket list is to meet Ashley Johnson one day. Okay. This makes good. I wonder how many times she's met fans and how many times fans have told her how much her and her character Ellie has saved them. I wonder how many times she's heard that. Because I can't be the only person who feels that. End of story. I would... I would love to meet Ashley Johnson. I figured we'd want to slip out that way. I feel like the best way to meet them, though, would be, like, if you went to, like, some kind of con that they were at. I don't really know any other way that you'd be able to meet them. I'll fight anyone who disagrees. Same. Same. Like, I don't think you guys can see it. But, yeah, you guys definitely can't see it. But I have so much The Last of Us going on in my living room. Hey. What do you need? I'll, I can go get it. Eventually, right there on the blank wall right next to the TV, I will be putting up a um, movie poster of the HBO The Last of Us. But I need my dad to come over to help me hang it up. Because I don't want to accidentally ruin the frame by, like, splitting the wood or something. It's a whole, it's a whole long story. Okay? Yeah, just come on down. This is uh, Ashley Scott. Is Maria realizing what Tommy has done? How do you make a custom Tilu controller? I wish I could let it go, but I can't. Because that seems quite difficult. I have to bring these people to justice. Ellie's going to try to come after me, but stop I would her. love to do that. Take her guns, lock up the horses, maybe lock her up. Buy me some time so I can end this. Love you always, Tommy. He's going to get himself killed. He should have taken me with him. I like that she hasn't thought at all about what she, she's just going she doesn't even know what she's no, doing what she's no gathering zero plans and and maria knows this right maria knows her like a parent of sorts and can say okay well if you're gonna do this here's some stuff you going with her yeah damn right she is <laughs> ride or die i love that those little moments with dina where you see the snarky mm -hmm. bits and it's funny because like this whole section here i constantly felt like any time we were dealing with joel or anything about Jack's in there. I was like, oh, this is none of my business. <laughs> it felt like I shouldn't be there. Like, uh, and even in that scene there too, it was like, well, I mean, yeah, I'm going with her, and I'm. Here. But like, um, but also to add on to that, Shannon, like, it's none of your like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dina's. It's probably none of Dina's business, but she's there anyways. But she's there as emotional support for Ellie, which is which I gotta like give her like mad props for, like. I got to give Dina mad props for being like, yep, yeah, none of my business. I'm staying quiet, but I'm here for my girl. Like that, that right there. I'm like, go Dina. Here to be with her, but all of this stuff predates me. So all I could do were kind of these little things that were almost like for your benefit to like kind of support you or be like, I saw that. That was a lot. Are you yeah, okay? Like, oh, you boy, know? She's a lot. Yeah. 
It's a weird feeling of um, letting someone that's grieving have their space, but offering yourself to help them in any way you can. All right. Get going. You're, you're losing light. I really remember the end of this scene and this look that I give you. Like, well, that was a lot. <laughs> I think, yeah, here it is right here. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. That was like, oh. that was like, ooh, this is like a lot. Today also is a that, lot. That could have gone way worse. <laughs> yeah, and, and, yeah, in here it's still there. I'm like, all right. This this shot right go. here with the light coming through. LED I love that shot so much. So gorgeous. I want a poster of that shot, like of Ellie just like looking off to the side, looking at Dina with the light coming in, and I love. That's probably my favorite shot of this entire game, and I want a poster of it. She always kills my speed runs. I feel that. I, I, I highly feel that. But I, I love Shannon. Like, what can I say? Like, I have mixed feelings about Dina because I'm like, I'm always going to be... I'm always going to be like, um... A Ellie Riley stan. Like, I'm always going to be team Ellie Riley. But I love Shannon. So that makes me like Dina more because I love Shannon and she's just amazing and ha, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. All right. Um, I got to really go to the restroom. So we are going to BRB real fast. Um, I don't think if I go here. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. I don't know if that was going to be there. Okay, so I will be right back. This is a good time for you guys to also take a potty break and get a snack and whatever you want to do. back 
Oh, wrong, wrong screen. There we go. We're back. We also are back with a Mountain Dew Baja Blast because gotta love Baja Blast. I have a problem. <laughs> and what's, what's stupid is like my store almost like it's hit or miss if they have it in stock. And when they do, I'm like, oh, I'm buying a couple cases because I don't know when it's going to be gone or back. And then I'm also back with a donut. I, I, got, I got myself a donut. How old were you when you first killed someone? We talking infected? No. Fully conscious, non-fungal person. Ten? Wow. What happened? Guy was coming at my mom. Again, like moments like Shit. this. I wish there was a commentary me. for it. Yeah, I'm a real badass. Well, so how um, yours would be in my kitchen. Uh, um, and it it is a uh, it's a very cool. basic donut. Again, I'm a very basic person. What about those crazy <laughs> I like basic but ones. simple and they came after you guys, nice. Right? Maybe so, um, yeah, it's just a basic time. glazed no. donut. Like, seem like the same group. not too much, delicious, very uh, basic and simple. A lot of I love everything about it. I'm guessing. Okay. At least until we find out more information. And it's from Krispy Kremes. <laughs> so good. Krispy Kremes has the best donuts. Ellie, cars. Yeah, I'm getting close. Start keeping an eye out. Krispy Kremes are so good. So good. Here we go. Guess I was wrong. Turns out you do know where you're going. I want a chocolate icing, please. Sorry, I have a uh, glaze, glazed, and glazed. So which one would you like? Glazed or glazed? <laughs> Runs across the pond for a donut. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big like glazed fan. Sure seems quiet. Especially if they do it right, like about mm. how well we hide our you can't you can't beat it. You can't beat it. That's what scares me. I need to thaw um, the pork I have in the freezer. It's gonna take like a few days to thaw, and then make carne asada breakfast burritos, and then just freeze them. I also need to make sure my flour tortillas are still good and not molded. Because if they are, the then I gotta go to the store and get more. Watch the high <laughs> go get uh, new tortillas. Because no one's gonna eat molded tortillas. May add flavor, but not the flavor you want. Noise, noise. Dina, hey, help me up here. We made um, eclairs in the baking class. Um, so we had a, yeah. We had to do the chocolate, the I'll chocolate dipping out. tops Just see to if you it. Just get the gate open from the other side. Sounds good. That was fun. The tops of my eclairs kept breaking on me. It, it was stupid. Those eclairs were massive. Like, we literally cut them in half. Um, like, we would cut them in half this way. Um, that way, we would have our bottom. We would have pastry cream in the middle. We would have the top. And then we would have um, the topping or, like, the chocolate dipped top on the top. And then we would have um, shaved chocolate and shaved white chocolate on top of that. 
Like those things were mass massive. Remember when I dodged off of this ledge and I just fell to my death? <laughs> good times, good times. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot. So, because I, I, I just remember that was like a clip somewhere. But um, John actually surprised me the other day because I, I said something. I don't even remember what I said, but it was. I don't, I don't know. But then he quoted one of my clips that I have on like either TikTok or YouTube. And that surprised the shit out of me because I'm like, holy fuck. My manager, who has become one of my friends, but like has actually took the time and watched some of my content. Like, like, like what? Like mind blowing. <laughs> I was I was I was shocked. I was shocked when I found out that information. I was like he really does care. <laughs> John the MVP. Seriously. Seriously though. John better come in to chat one day. Ah, uh, he's a busy, busy boy. Shit. He's too busy for that life. Okay. Do I have to fight for my mod? What do you mean? There could be multiple mods. I mean, look at you and Lauren. You're not fighting Lauren for mod ship. Oh, when is John replacing me as a mod? Again, there there could be multiple mods, Chris. That's what you think? Oh, Lauren, uh, Viral, you guys better run. <laughs> Chris is gonna come out swinging. This is not the apocalypse, John. I mean, Chris. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I promise you that was on accident. That was completely on accident. <laughs> Oh my lanta, that was that was embarrassing. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> my bad. My bad. I I can tell you right now. <laughs> I'm gonna clip this. It's gonna become a YouTube a YouTube short, and then I'm gonna send it to John, and he's probably gonna laugh his ass off. Uh. <laughs> oh man, my bad. Sorry, Chris. Oopsie daisies. Yes. Go stand in the corner while this mod duel happens. <laughs> yeah, Lauren's just gonna be in the corner with popcorn. Hey, come on. Let's get out of here. That car Actually, hmm, I have a question that I need answered. Did that do anything? I don't think that did anything. New version available. Okay. Click here. What do you mean new version available? Oh, okay. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now. Okay. But what I want to know is, oh wait, number lock wasn't on. I don't know if it's working. Watch, I'm going to have like 50 backtracks saved. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, it worked. I'm pretty sure. And now I'm going to have like five of them. 
found a note back there. Had some codes on it. Says there's a WLF safe house at some place called Saravina Base. Saravina. I think every mod Saravina. has been a mod longer than I have, so I will Talk. bow out gently. <laughs> nah, I love all my mods equally. Saravina Hotel. In their own different ways. I choose not to pick favorites because if I did, okay. Chris might come Yo. after me. So I'd rather I'd rather not deal with that war. Ah, it's out of gas. You're fresh for the fight, Lauren. Oh shit! She loves me sarcastically. The note mentioned that there's gas in the courthouse garage and the dome. All right. Courthouse girl. Oh my gosh, a bunny. That reminds me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I was driving from work. Or like I was yeah, I was driving from work to my apartment and it was like freaking like midnight. And um all of a sudden I see like this little movement in the road, like running across the road. I thought I was like just seeing things. No. Like it was a flipping bunny just running in the road and I'm like, hello? You don't belong here. Like, dude, get out of the road. You're gonna get killed. I'm guessing the military bombed the shit out of this place. Why would they do that? They would sometimes destroy I'm like, hello? Lost to the infected. Or to rebels. That seems like overkill. Well, it usually worked. On the infected. You are not the least favorite, Viro. Oh, shit. <laughs> Believe me. Hear that. I don't have a least favorite mod. Infected. Otherwise, they wouldn't be mods, right? What is it, a competition now of being least favorite? Does everyone want to be the least favorite now? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Finger off the trigger so we don't actually shoot. Finger off the trigger so we don't accidentally shoot. We're not shooting today. And making our death possible. Dino. I mean, some of your puns are good, Chris. Some of them. You, ever been to a you have your, you have your moments. Oh, I got in trouble, but never landed in a courthouse. Careful. All right, here we go. Here we go. See if we remember how to do this. This is probably where we die. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that rhymed. Shit! <laughs> Oh, I missed. I missed it, we still got it. Take it. There's our gas. 
It wasn't clean like it should have been, but we took no damage, so I'll, I'll take it. Empty. Insert Benny Hill movie. Movie. Wow, I music. Yeah, I need to get that back yeah. into. Tapped out. I don't think I. Oh, yeah, I need to get that back. I currently don't have that at the moment. I miss the Benny Hill moments. Okay, let go. Did you guys know that P Dub is the person that inspired me to start the Benny Hill? Let's go find the dome. The more you know. It might be worth grabbing some supplies. Oh, I tried to do the thing of Majiggy and she didn't do the thing Majiggy, so then we had to do the thing of Majiggy. Wasn't Joel all about coffee? Me? He trade half his stuff for a bag of beans. I never got it. Always like burn shit. shit. Thank you. Acquired taste, my ass. I know. How dare she not do the thing, Majiggy? Because then we had to do the thing, Majiggy. <sighs> this is why we can't have nice things. Explosions. My sister always avoided QZs. That's probably why. She just got more and more paranoid. She'd sometimes Elden Ring DLC. Hey, I still haven't have finished Elden Ring. That was a little weird, but okay. I have not watched. All right, I got you. I have not watched them. <laughs> oh, do I need to look at the adorable cat now? Watch it this way. I almost got slapped. That was kind of rude. That was almost rude. That was almost rude. How's our health doing? We're full. Sweet. Love to see it. Okay. I love to see the full health. Found the gas. Sounds like a you problem that needs to be. F wow, Chris, toxic man. Oh hell yeah. Hey, Absolutely toxic. Is a house of worship. We got some gas. Oh fuck yeah. Okay. What are we looking at here? I just got sent a picture in the group chat for my work. And I have no idea what we are looking at. Okay. You were saying? Yeah. So, this place brings back a lot of memories. My sister used to drag me to the synagogue. I don't even know where that is. Do you still pray? Sometimes. <laughs> really? When? I said when we leave up Jackson. Hmm. Hey, what are you doing? I bet I can get to the other balcony with this. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Ellie, careful. It's okay. It's holding. Elden Ring might be my favorite game ever now. That's a stretch. <laughs> Nothing to it. Come what is Stellar Blade? Right. <laughs> okay. Gate. Might be worth grabbing some supplies. All right, let's go do the take on me and see if there's any commentary for it. Onward, hey. Valiant Music Shop. 
Should we check How you doing back there? Getting homesick? A little bit. You yeah. Oh yeah, and then I'll go to the tank Should afterwards. Everything was intact. Just having a roof. And get the shotgun the ammo. I've I don't know how to anything. All right, let's see if there's any commentary for this. Jackson. If not, in town? we haven't done this in a while, so. I like the idea. Why is there? Sounds lonely. <laughs> Why are they still oh, talking? Okay, so are we gonna like? Hello, game. Cows? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> no, it actually sounds kind of nice. We're having like really? two scenes at once <laughs> right now. There we go. Oof, oops. My bad, my bad G. There we go. I got there. Hey Hallie, do you want to talk about how we were managed to get oh, the right sure. to this yes. beautiful song? <laughs> sure, we were looking for There is commentary my, for it. My bestie is a spectacular woman named Lauren Savoy, whose husband is uh, Paul Wachtar Savoy, who is um, a member of the band AHA. And so I reached out and, and said, would it be possible to get this dope ass song in the game? And they were like, yeah, let's do it. That's amazing. That's great. So it just like, it was just a lucky happenstance that we were able to, to pull it off. But it's great because now every time, now like two of my awesome. favorite things are combined forever. Also cool how these things are such collaborations where it's that's, that's obviously Ashley singing, but that's Ashley's friend Chris playing guitar and we mocap his hands and then transpose that onto Ellie's body. Wait, you're telling me this whole scene is a lie and it's not Ashley Johnson playing the guitar while Ashley is singing to Shannon? Wow. This whole scene's a lie. I loved this game mechanic. So fun. This is my favorite missable moment in the whole game. Mm -hmm. The fact that this is optional, well, I think. Remember is how much we talked about the, yeah. the fact because uh, like so yeah. many people love this, and we're like, oh, and then there were people on the team that argue that you, that you should not be able to miss this, but it makes it more special knowing that you might have missed it. You gotta earn yeah. me staring at you <laughs> <laughs> for several minutes. <laughs> such a good cover too i mean i wouldn't say it to ashley's face don't look over here but like <laughs> it's pretty solid when i see uh dina's looks over here my interpretation is that she's remember all the times that she was falling in love for ellie in the past when she was with jesse because um, right they're talking about this has happened before and she played this song and the other character moment that's interesting here is like the, the song she originally play here when she picks up the guitar is future days is what joel teaches her and as soon as dina walks through the door she stops playing that song because she doesn't want to talk about that this is actually i think canonically the first time you will have seen ellie successfully play guitar since the opening scene where joel says he's going to teach her yeah so this is the first moment that we realize like that he really did teach her so I, didn't like, I didn't even realize that. I didn't even put the two to two together. Oh, it's a, you're right. It's every that's time awesome. Up a guitar, there's a and that's so like yeah. such a time. sweet moment. And we were like, when we we're making this, where we kept talking about what are different ways we could remind you of Joel because he's not there. Make him a ghost. But he's present. Well, there were versions where we talked we about having like Joel. We ghost, had ghost Joel. Joel like early on. <laughs> and it just felt a little too campy for this story. Ghost Joel. Now I need that to be merch. Joel in ghost form. Like a Halloween The Last of Us shirt. <laughs> I love that there was commentary for that. Okay, now let's go to the tank so we can get that ammo and let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything else in here.
Whoa, check out the tank. Huh. I've never seen one of these in action. I'd buy that. I feel like so many people would buy that. These guys had a bad day. What is it? Burnt skeletons. Not how I or even, that. oh my gosh, even like, okay, imagine this. A t-shirt that, like, on the front says, um, The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. And then on the back, <laughs> has a picture of a ghost Joel. I would buy that. I would buy that shirt right there. I need it now. We, we need this in our life now. Wow, that was an adventure. I found any of them yet. Hey, it's a big city. We barely started looking. Yeah, I know. Just thought we'd see one of them by now. Joel the unfriendly ghost. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't get along with Casper very well now, would he? Oh. Or a picture of, like, Ellie. Um, and then right. Ghost Joel basically, like, behind Ellie, as if, like, he's watching over her. That would be sweet. Hey, these old I would also buy that. Pretty finicky, so it might take you a few tries to... Oh. Sorry, go on. Nothing. It worked. Joel would haunt Abby forever. Oh. Oh man. Or they're just waiting for us. Let's look for a way in. Ah oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> you see that? Infected just hopped that fence. Oh, means we can get in that way. Alright, here we go. A close one. I reloaded just for that moment right there. Okay. That's that. All right. There should be like explosives or something in here, right? I'm fairly certain somewhere in here. There it is. All right, let's go. Okay, what do we want? I don't remember what I usually do. I think I usually do this, don't I? Kay. Oh, the oh. Tommy torture scene. Mm. So we got to see Joel do this scene in the first game of interrogating two people. And now we get to see like the aftermath of having this interrogation done by Tommy. Mm -hmm. Just shows you what he's capable of. Okay. And then later we get to see Ellie try to do this. Right, and at this point for Dina, she doesn't really- And not only that, it's kind of like a full circle because in the first game, Joel also did this when Ellie got captured. So it's like, it's kind of like their signature thing at this point. ...know about Tommy's past. She doesn't know that he, she doesn't have the privileged information that Tommy used to be as bad as Joel. And she's just really sort of- Their signature Tommy the Joel was here. She knows like the reform Tommy that lived right. in Jackson that helps everybody. Yeah. Right. There's another one over here. I remember we iterated a lot on the lighting of this room and trying to give it the right vibe. That it wasn't too bright or too dark. 
don't recognize him. That, that's really important. I don't recognize him. That shows Tommy Joel killed someone sure. that wasn't involved in Joel's mm. death. That there's already starting to be yeah. this cost of um, whether this person is innocent mm. or not. There's, who knows? No, he wasn't. It'll make him say it. I'll have to look for it, Joshua. I've never paid attention. Then you ask this, this guy. This is the worst board game ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to pay attention to that. So one of the things that really like rocks me about some of these scenes is also just how comfortable they are around death all the time. Yeah. It implies her understanding this kind of... Or Tommy took it. ...as well, that like Ellie really is not okay and she's losing because other people are going through this right. all the time. And so like it's those little things like that that really like moved me when I was actually playing the game. I was like, God, this is fucked up. Like, And, and right around this area is where we have Dina mention her sister mm -hmm. and how she was never able to avenge whatever happened to her sister. Mm -hmm. so she has this unfulfilled thing and she knows how traumatic that can be, and she doesn't want that for Ellie. That's awful, Ghost Joel. <laughs> oh, man. I need to make that an emote now. Come on. We can get out this way. Maybe catch up. All right. Med kit yeah. for Lauren. Also need a Molly. I know you said Tommy had a rough past, but fuck. I know. Are you okay? It wasn't pretty. I don't want you to think bad of Tommy. Ellie, if I had my sister's killer's type. Oh, wow. It is gone. I do work. I have never paid attention to that before. It you is. Wow. Oh, Remember the I was kind of cra Wait. Written in blood? Yeah. Isn't that it right there? Is that not it right there? <laughs> yeah, it's literally right here. It's right here. I found it. That's crazy. How did it end up right there? <laughs> the world may never know. How big is an emote usually? Uh, I have to look what YouTube's standards are. Whoops, my bad. Um, but it's usually like 112 pixels by 112 pixels. Got it. And I got this. I feel like I've never played it. Good question though. Where does this take That's us? crazy. I mean, it's always fun, like, like you know, playing things so many times and then finding so new find pieces of it that you haven't noticed before. Because I have, like, 1,700 hours in this like game, and I never yeah. noticed that that dumpster is gone. <laughs> it was it was Joel. Poltergeist activity. I might do the I, I think I'm gonna try the um So this is the first contact the school the speedrun strat. We're like speedrunning, but we're also like not speedrunning, you know? Yeah. Chase, is, Chase Austin is great. We're doing Fun some speedrun strats. Chase played uh, young Sam Drake in Uncharted 4. How'd you find us? So ballsy. <laughs> How many came with you? Hmm? Just you two? I think that's what Ellie really believes, that no matter what, they're going to get what's due. Like, there's, like, some cosmic... 
karma thing going on? Um, I feel like she has to. Or she's just bullshitting him to make him believe that there's more people coming. Ooh, what are you gonna get for food, Lauren? Yeah. Also, okay, be safe. This girl was there. So, uh, that guy is being played by Ruben Langdon, who played James in, uh, part one. His face, though, is, uh, the skin of the of five minutes. <laughs> our, um, lead foreground artist. Kill all trespassers. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. That doesn't make any sense. Direct order, man. No, let's talk to her. Let's figure out what she knows. I don't give a fuck what she knows. You saw what she did to the others? You have no deep idea. Deep in the background, how many Dina. <laughs> How many people she's with, we will find them, we will kill them. Can you just think for yourself for a quick second right now? Can you get away? Dana for the rescue! Dana! Jesus. Come here. It's okay, I have my blind moments too. Just ask my manager. <laughs> Or, from, or my mom, for that matter. Like, you don't know how many times I'm like, Mom, I can't find something in the fridge. And then she goes in there two seconds later and, like, finds it. And I'm like, oh. Well, it wasn't there. <laughs> but in reality, it was. Tina realizes that she's, like, really not okay. She's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, which I love because... It's the hint of the obsession. Yeah. Of like she's losing herself okay. to the, this chase instead of what's actually happening right now. And really, really to their detriment. And yeah. At the point when we were writing this scene, to have the death be relatively quick, and then there's, you can't even linger and think about it. Um, and again, this is just kind of push forward of like, maybe the next one will be more satisfying. Or maybe the one after. So I will admit, I don't think we can do the first two people speed run wise because because I want to watch the commentary, but we have to skip the scene in order for it to work. Because I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, at the end of the cutscene, we see the guys running on us. So I don't think I'm going to be able... What? Don't you see I'm streaming? <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny, Chris. That will be more satisfying. That was so quick. <laughs> That was so quick. Yeah. Yeah. Can I still? There you go, Dina. Yeah, I knew that they ran on us, so I was like, How many there's not gonna be like, we gotta get the hell out of here. I wasn't gonna be able to do it. All right, let's go, let's do this thing. See if we could get this first try. Oh! Oh, that hurt! Oh, that really hurt! Holy shit! Oh, that was painful! You guys can stop shooting me now! Like. Damn Willikers, man! Fun fact, you can actually pause here and do a little heal up and then run. Okay, she's dead. Oh, 
Oh, that hurt, man. That was painful. How many times um, did it take you to com- Wait, how much time did it take you to complete the game? I think my save file was like 24 hours. I think is what my save file said. Holes. Absolute assholes, man. We're gonna die because I don't have the ammo for this. I do not have the ammo for this. Come on, man. I'm not here. Push in. No, don't do that. I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, this is where I die. How am I still alive? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Dude, just let me leave. I think I've earned my right to live. Come on, man. <laughs> Look at this pile of bodies. It's just, it's just piling up. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I wanted that ammo, but I'm not gonna fall for the bait. Go 
Come on, man. How many more are there? <laughs> I call it a day. I'd be like, nope, I'm tapping out. What's up, crocodile? How are you? It's good to see ya. Come on, man. <laughs> Were you at want to leave but accidentally kill the whole team? We live those. How did we live that? Like, I'm sorry, what? I don't know how we lived. We gotta get away from this school. We're so hurt though. We're gonna die in Capitol Hill. I'm calling it right now. Unless the strat is absolutely perfect, we are going to die in Capitol Hill. That whole situation was just so bogus. It was so stupid. None of that should have happened. Oh, wait. The first kind of yeah, like uh, draft we have of all of Seattle is Sucker Punch Games made Infamous Second yes. Son, which takes place in Seattle. So they gave us a 3D model of all of Seattle wow. as a starting point. And then we just spent a lot of time just like mapping out the entire story and where like Ellie and Abby go. So we have this very intricate map of all the locations. And based off of that, we said, okay, now we need a map that they could point to in the cinematic to get us to the, to the TV station at the next location. I remember one of my first meetings, or one of my early when meetings at Naughty Dog was with M, and she was, who's a, a lead designer at Naughty Dog, and she had spent a lot of time figuring out how Seattle would be flooded in the future. So a lot of the actual flooding you see is, is, semi-accurate I want a burger if there was that much water happening M was the one that pitched Seattle initially oh be really? uh, be because she she felt that it had the most kind of unique locations that we could move through and had a lot of verticality within the city I'm glad that they told me who M was because I had no idea who that was <laughs> but do I get any no you know what? I'm sorry I didn't realize my donuts were your donuts. I didn't realize I'd never got anything for myself. I didn't realize living by myself was actually, oh no, I'm just living with Chris's ghost. We need alcohol. Okay, at least we have that. Come on, alcohol. Come on, come on, come on. I don't remember where there is alcohol. If there is any. Scissors. I knew that was gonna be there. Explosives, okay. There's nothing in there. As much as I would love to stay uh, and watch more, I'm leaving for work, uh, so it's quite of a drive getting home. Uh, but if you are streaming still live, uh, once I'm home, I will be back. All right, Joshua, have a good one. Um, thank you so much for stopping by and, uh, have a safe drive home. Hopefully I'll still be here. I mean, I have nothing going on today, so I'm hoping to stream. Oh, wait, there is alcohol in one of these dorms. And there's a bottle over here. 
Usually I don't um scout any of this out, but explosives. I know there's alcohol in one of these dorms. Mop buckets. These people are not like us. I think it was this one. No, that's a rag. Oh, alcohol. Fuck yes. Something keeps bugging me. Why didn't they kill you and tell me when they had the chance? Oh man, I don't know. Okay, I feel a little better. Maybe they're dumb. Maybe. Maybe. All right, I feel feel a little better now. All right, let's do this thing. Let's see if we can remember how to do the speed on strat. I mean, it's not like we're on permadeath, so, like, if we die, we die, but, like, I would like to say that we didn't. <laughs> I would like to say that I still have it. Uh, let's see. What? Where's my alerts? Shit. Holy shit! Thank you for the 50! I don't know where my alerts are. I'm like, I should have alerts for all that stuff. I'll have to double check after stream and make sure everything's like tweaked fine. And that nothing's broken. Shit. I fucked that up. We're dead. I fucked that up so bad. Yeah, I forgot you're not supposed to run the entire way. How'd they get away? Spread out. Find where they're hiding. Go for it. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Well, that gives us time to, like, actually do that over again and not fuck it up this time. I knew we were going to die there. All right. Let's do this right this time. And not run. <laughs> not run after we jump down. I forgot we're supposed to, like, be kind of stealthy, you know? We are, we are on grounded after all. Yes, yes. Uh, I think about like eight times, maybe seven times, I've completed permadeath, whole game grand permadeath, which is whole game hardest difficulty without dying. Yeah. Huh? Hold on. What? Am I supposed to... Ah, fuck. Did I, rem Did I forget my strat? Do I need to look at my own tutorial video? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, we just run. Are we supposed to crouch? Crouch. 
I'm like, what was what what is the mechanics we're supposed to be doing right now? Cause I dodge off the ledge. And then do we just crouch? How did trespassers even get in out there? Same way that I see them! Down there! Sir, ma'am, how did you see me? Ellie looks so over this right now. My bad. Don't let her get away! Find another angle! Ow. Yeah. What the fuck? Am I... What is happening? Hold on. I don't like this. I don't like that this is not working how it's supposed to. Who has very useful videos on how to get past very easily. I know, maybe I need to watch her videos. <laughs> to figure out how to do these strats. Oh, this is bothering me. Why? Why? Why did I forget how to do this? Am I not supposed to? How do trespassers even get in the Same way the deserters get out. No, because that's going to get me spotted. And I've never crouched there before. But if I'm moving too fast... It's causing me to also get spotted. Oops, my bad. I jumped too soon. That's very possible. Maybe I am. Maybe. Oh. My bad, geez. Maybe I am falling too far. Maybe I'm not falling close enough to the wall. Maybe that's what it is. Why is this not? Wait a second. Wait a darn two minutes. Is this one of those situations where? Where is it? Where is it? Is it display? Performance. If I was it, where would I be? It wouldn't be accessibilities, would it? No. I'm like wondering like if for whatever reason if this is a moment where um 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second matter. But I can't remember where the setting for the frames per second is. It's not there. View controls, custom controls. Does anybody remember? Does anybody remember where the settings for the frames per second is? Because I'm wondering if that's what it is. If it's a difference in frames per second. Because I want to try it on... Unless the remaster doesn't have that option? Hmm. Hmm. It might not have that option.
It might not have that option. Hmm. I don't know. It's Hillcrest. Sorry, not Hillcrest. Capitol Hill. All right. Let me look at my own YouTube video and see what I'm doing differently <laughs> and what I'm doing wrong. That's kind of embarrassing, having to resort <laughs> to my own videos to get myself past situations. Playlist. Uh, where is it? Last was HBO reaction. Last was two tutorials. There it is. All right, what? Gross my voice. Um. Huh? Why? There it is. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so TV station. Red Door, Forest. Here it is. So, what is up, guys? Today we are going to talk about that build in. So, we just go around the fire extinguisher. Um, and what I like to do is I like to go right back to two. That's but not the speedrun strat, uh, though, what Sammy. What we're going to do is we're going to smashing onto that cliff. And then you're like you're crouching into the window and just come down the stairs. That's not have, the like, speedrun strat, though. Did I not do a video on the speedrun strat? Ah, oh, damn. I don't think I did a video on the speedrun strat. Damn it. All right, let's try one more time. Let's try one more time and we'll we'll see. Add. They didn't play. So, what is up guys? Today Oh yeah. Same video I just looked at. Again, not the speedrun strat. Don't talk um about yourself like that. My bad, G. Damn it. That makes me so sad that I didn't do one for the speedrun strat. Shit. I mean, that strat's fine, like, if you want to play it safe. But if you want to go fast, it's not very quick. I don't think he does. He hasn't really made many tutorial videos, but I'll, I'll look. Can someone explain to me what difference I just made? <laughs> and why that works compared to something else? I always mess up resetting the trap. You better just go. That is how it was supposed to be. Why did that work? Except crouching when landing. But I I crouched when landing before too, didn't I? No, I prone dived right away, didn't I? <laughs> I don't do that, Ellie. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Why all of a sudden I'm like, okay, guess I gotta look at a YouTube video, look at my own videos, and then all of a sudden it works. That's bothering me now. Why did that work? Why did that work? Give me your hand. Maybe it's because I didn't go right away. Maybe it was because I didn't go right away. Maybe it was that I crouched, paused a second, and then I went. Maybe that's what it was? Come on. 
don't know how I would have done all this without. I mean, Sammy from a year ago is still is still getting subs. What the fuck was that? I ran into a trap. Oh, hey guys, come on. Traps. Come on. Watch where you're walking. Over here. Oh, ouch. That hurt. My bad. I messed that up. I forgot I was supposed to kill the thing myself and then just run past them. And that is not what I did. We're definitely going to die at TV station, just by the way. I kind of want to do the brick strat, but I know the brick strat is stupid. <laughs> It is stupid, I, and I definitely don't have a tutorial on that. Or do I? No, I think I do. I think it's one of my um, three ways of doing TV station because the TV station is the, I believe if I, rem if I remember correctly, the three ways I did was the brick strat, the smoke bomb strat. Uh, foreshadowing on pregnancy. Okay, I'm gonna pause real quick because I don't want to miss this. But um, I think the three ways I did was brick strat, uh, trap mine strat and smoke bomb strat. I think those are the three ways. Least favorite part of my performance. <laughs> I'm not getting nauseous perform. It's very. It's it really. Every time I see it, I'm just like, mm, that's not good. Is that your Achilles heel? Oh, well, there's a lot hiding behind walls and um, yeah, that no. You can hear no. the puke splashing on the ground. I did hear that. They helped me there. And, and that, again, it's another yeah. one of those things where, like, the audio of the farm. Let, let me listen to like several versions of puke hitting the ground and and picking one. Ew. Disgusting. I always feel like whenever I have to act like I'm throwing up, I always start dry heaving. Because mm. once you get that, uh, and you're like, like a cat with a fur ball. Yeah. I'm just gonna do the smoke bomb strat because I don't have the trap mine on me because I decided to skip it. How'd this city get so wrecked? Like this, right, we might get the Boston stuff for it. Blown civil war. Fireflies never put up this kind of resistance. I guess I need more videos to make. I need to figure out why it worked and then why it didn't and make a YouTube video on the speedrun strat. Thanks. I'm gonna actually get this ammo. For infected. Does anybody remember this combination? Because I sure don't. Let's be careful. I know there's an O1 and I know there's a 33, but that's yeah. about it. Yeah. Uh. Is it 550133? Is that what it was? Welcome back, Lauren. What did you end up getting? Fifty five, oh, one, thirty three. Yeah, it is. Oh, shit. oh that was rude. The door just shut in my face. Rude ass door. Yeah, seen Joel do this. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, there we go. Oh, awkward. <laughs> Not bad. I gotta take another bathroom break. Maybe Leah will come to us. Yeah. My bad. Or they might be waiting to ambush us. I've been drinking too many liquids. Hey. 
How low can you go? How low can you go? Half onion rings and half fries. Fuck. What's on that burger? I don't really eat at Burger King very often. Let's get inside. Hello, can you go? All right, there's pills in here, but let's see if it's enough pills to do what we need. Yeah, it is. It has barbecue sauce, cheese, and a couple onion rings. Ooh. Well, we already, I don't know if you saw Lauren, but we already died at Capitol Hill because I could not remember my speed. I could not remember the speed run strat to save my life. For some reason, I like, I just kept getting spotted. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Um, and then all of a sudden when I was like, okay, let me look at my own YouTube tutorial videos. Um, I didn't have the speed run strat on YouTube, but then the next time I went to go do the speed run strat, it worked. So I'm confused. I'm I'm quite of the confused right now. But now I'm not sure. Wow, they just gypped you on cheese? That's rude. Don't they know who they're messing with? What is that? You mess with Lauren, you mess with all of us. Before we do TV station, <laughs> before we do TV station, I am gonna take a potty break. This is your big performance. <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> you say that because that body's much taller than Hallie. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is. <laughs> Those people listening, um, Hallie's a tiny, tiny, tiny little poison. I'm so really tiny. portable. Yeah, these but scenes, that's the these part. scenes are really hard, really hard to write because, because again, we're trying to make it a character moment but give you enough information to go forward in the clue chain towards finding who you need. And giving you, yeah, new information so it doesn't feel repetitive, right? We're opening right. up the world progressively with each sort of expository beat as well. There's this really nice beat at the end here where like Dina calms Ellie down and takes the pictures from her. Hmm. It's all of them. You just, you could, it's really, it's really nuanced here what you're doing, Ashley, where there's just this like anger that's starting to bubble up as you look at this stuff and like, look at their fucking smiles. Yes. Just looking so happy. There she is. Laura Bailey. And that's the, the Last of Us 2 theme, which is like a reverse version of the Last of Us It is still theme. plenty of time it's to eat. So I've gone home at midnight and got something to hey, eat. Hey there, tiger. <laughs> yeah. okay, you can tiger. see it, how you, uh, it's, yeah. Support unit India en route to the TV station. Repeat, support Shit. unit India en route. Yeah, we should get going. Is that you, Hallie? That voice? I was just wondering that myself. Because like, it is you later. I think that might have been you. Like, yeah. All right, I'm going to use the restroom real quick because I really got to go. So I will be right back. Still be 
Oh, that feels so much better. Guys, I think I'm getting old. I remember. I remember the days. I would be able to do a 12 hour stream and only go to the restroom like two or three times. And this, we're only in almost four hours and I've already had to go twice. But I also have been drinking a lot more liquids than normal. So I don't know. I, 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 I do not know. You want to know something lame about me? What's up? Talk to her. I highly doubt it's lame, but let's... Well, that's rude. Um, let's hear it. She traveled hundreds of miles to torture him. I don't care whether she held the club or not. I get it. You think? Wow, Chris, who yeah. asked you? Find somewhere to hold up. Keep your eyes open! Shit. Get down. They're all dead! Fucking scars killed him! Spread out. You still could have. <laughs> Got them. Here, here. I remember that strat. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, we've got them. Oh, fuck. Tina, we gotta run. run I recently started playing Fall Guys and I am addicted now. Yep, yep, you're right. Lame. <laughs> Masks. Okay. Hey, you're the one that said, may God have mercy on your soul, Lauren. I need to stop that. I am so tempted to just freaking look on Amazon and find a ox cord, um, an ox, like, whatever, and just whatever. Become wireless. <laughs> I'm tired of being wired, all right? And unplugging my ears. Oh, don't cry. I didn't mean it. You're not lame. I, I, I didn't mean it. You're not lame. Just the memories I have with Fall Guys is. <laughs> That's all it is. Is the only game in which I got the platinum? Wait, we're, wait, actually, Mad Max. What are they? What would even be the trophies for Fall Guys? Fall this amount of times. Get to it. That'll 
Minecraft? That's even worse. I want to try to do the speedrun strat here and see if I can remember how to do it. Like the speed speedrun strat. The dangerous one. The hardest one was to win five games in a row. Oh, that sounds awful. I think in the amount of times I've played Fall Guys, I've only won like once. If that. <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn it. I hesitated at the beginning. Or did I run too soon? Hold on, I want to see this again. Damn it. We'll try it again sometime. Damn it, I was so close. I come so far. And got nowhere. In the end. It didn't even matter. <laughs> that was the strat I was gonna do, but um, I wanted to try to do the other strap, and I just, I just done goofed it. We got so close though. Getting over it? Oh, that game is awful. <laughs> I haven't played it myself, but I've seen so many streamers rage with that game. That game is awful. Whoever made that game made a game specifically just to tilt people. It was a troll game. That's what it was. It was the game just to troll people. Does that game even end? Like, can you, is there actually an ending to that game? <laughs> All right, let me see if I remember the strat for this one. I don't know if I do. Shit, I fucked up. I fucked up. Guys, I fucked up. I I fucked up. Ah! Guys, we're dead. There's there's no doubt about it. We're dead. I'm just gonna restart. <laughs> I'm just gonna restart. Others freak out, but I, you can complete it? I thought that was impossible. I didn't want to waste any more time. I did not want to waste any more time. Yeah, I fucked up those um, those prone dives at the beginning. So I instantly got spotted. Because they were supposed to be like silent prone dives and I prone dived right into a, a wall. <laughs> Which isn't very silent, I don't know if you know, but um, yeah, it's not very silent, so. Yeah, I, I, I messed those up. My bad. Jesus. I wonder how long 
long they kept these running past outbreak day. Med kit, ammo. Think Dina's thinking smarter, not harder. Getting closer to light. What should I make for dinner? Make sure everything's reloaded. Just fighting. I was like, damn. I just have to make sure her hands never touch the mask. I remember talking to you about this, Neil. Like, you were like, it's like she's, it's like she's committing suicide in front of you. Is like what it is. Oh, like, yeah. uh, you as know. As far as you know, she is. Yeah, and so that's where that reaction came from. Was he was like, she's killing herself in front of you. Is what it looked like to you. Ellie. I never thought of it. the wrong way. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't know. I'm just glad this wasn't an actual perma run. I would have, I would have been so livid if that was how I died. I do want to hear what they're going to say. I mean, we're going to watch the entire commentary, but like, I do want to hear what, like, I really want to hear what they're going to say about this next scene. A pain if you were in per Seriously. That's why I'm like, I'm like, I'm glad I wasn't. Like if I died like that in a perma run, like, oof, oof, that would be, that would be rough. That would be really, really rough. I don't think I have died that way in a perma, but I could be wrong. And there it is. The, I'm immune. I'm pregnant scene. Got it. This is where all the secrets come out. Yeah, it's just uh, this is where the the obsession. I think this is the first time it's really getting in between them that there's now personal conflict starting to form. Yeah, there's a real standoff towards the end of this scene too. I remember this entire scene was really hard to watch the first Ellie, time because I hated watching Ellie hurt so hard. Had an outline. Mm. Some of the major beats were there. And you what had kind, Chris? Like, what if we made Dina pregnant? Yeah, because we were, the, the, I think it was on my first day, and the problem we were trying to solve was we want these two girls to go to Seattle together. We want to have Ellie to have this conduit to talk about her feelings and maybe this thing to pull her back, but how do we keep, how, how can we narratively hold Dina back 
so that Ellie can do a bunch of these missions alone because so much of this is about the singularity of the obsession and the loneliness. Sure, what is the rage story? It is to be alone in this world. Um, okay. And I just threw it out there. Let's, n let's knock her up. It's interesting, too, with um, if you think about the first game, over the course of the journey with Joel and Ellie, is they slowly open up more to each other and reveal more of their secrets. Uh, and these characters are kind of doing the same thing. They're both holding back on secrets. So even though it's a very angry scene, they're revealing everything to each other. That's what I said. Secrets come out. Telling the truth. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> I love the subtext them. Please do. I'm so glad that we live in a world where they exist. I, I found this scene really hard because it was one of the, I mean, we literally, I mean, you have two very like big <laughs> reveals or reactions that were, that could have been like really soapy if I did it wrong, you know? It's like the I'm pregnant and also like the chemical burn, you know, like that, that's really well, tough. Well, it's and, like, like I, cause I remember we talked a lot about that, which is, um, you just you just thought your friend was gonna die in front of you. You yeah, thought yeah. you might have to shoot them. Yeah, in front it really of you. opens so with her. So you being have this like, moment of like yeah. sadness, relief, and also, by the way, what's the dun 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 okay. clip? A lot yeah. of the times when Ellie's in severe conflict, she like. What I, one of the things that I find very relatable is like suddenly she loses eye contact. Like it, it just goes inward. Everything just goes into this inward rage. That is so nuanced and I don't know how you could really pull this off in a in a game a decade ago maybe because there's so much beautiful facial that uh, that you do that they're able to capture yeah I I, f I I feel like I talk about this all the time like this game I, I don't think would have had the impact or or any of that without I mean there's so many people oh that make up right Chris right right I remember now playing. and I feel like you can give it your all, but if you don't have the right people that are sitting there for, I don't know how, I mean, years well, it's, and years. It's, it's, um, it's sculptors. <sighs> yeah. It's animators. Mm -hmm. Oh, that it's line hurts. You know, if, you, if you don't get the right lighting, the performance doesn't come seriously, through. Seriously, could right. you, uh, like, all that stuff. Seriously, though, like, could you imagine having the person you super care for outright tell you that you're a burden? Fucking toxic, man. I love Ellie, but that was super uncalled for. It just takes a lot of effort and iteration, like so much iteration to get it right and to just to, to try to like that moment we felt on the stage to draw it out in a CG character is a lot of work. Hmm. So much work to really nail the anxious avoidant attachment style. <laughs> 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 it's like we all understand, you know? I honestly wish the entire game was commentary. Oh, man. I'd be like, true? Nah, if someone told me that I was a burden, but I was already, like, semi already feeling that way, I would just go into silent mode. Like I do when something's wrong. I would just go into isolation mode. Like I do when something's wrong. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even. And I bet you, like, that feels like something that would just stick with you. I hope you were a better soldier than an electrician. That hurts my soul. Why is my, go away, thank you. What's this?
Waddle, waddle, waddle to the very next day. Bum, bum, bada, bum. A duck walked up to the lemonade stand and he said to the man running the stand, Hey! I wonder if my things have been delivered yet. Joel, you love watching a movie in this place. Bum bum bum. Kind of sucks that like my mom always tells me that I my brother and I we have champagne taste no way. on a beer budget. And I feel that. Cuz there's like this like smart coffee table that I want that like has outlets to it it has a phone charger part of it like it um it's a Boy, like it's a fridge for, like, like, a <laughs> like a little cooler but there's like it's, 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 and it's expensive it's like a yeah. well it is right because we tie it to every flashback yeah. yeah I love that the attachment to Joel is through music Over the course of shooting this, how long did how long did it take to shoot? Just like three years. Yeah, <laughs> three years. Well, actually, we shot the trailer where you play guitar before we even made Uncharted Four, because we had started working on this game, and then um, so the game went on pause for two years before we picked it back Damn, up. Damn, Mad Max. Hey, look, Ellie's learning. Hey. Wait, why did you end up getting punished? One of the things I really appreciate about your performance, Ashley, is how you're able to so seamlessly jump between these different ages and different levels of innocence that this mm. character has. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> I also now watch this, I'm like, that guitar is so expensive. Why are you, why are you just leaving it? Are you just leaving it out there? <laughs> Shit. Right? <laughs> it's like, take the guitar with you at least. Put it in your backpack. I'm going to start guessing. Goodbye, guitar. I don't spoil your surprise now. There you go. This is Ooh. a dinosaur? I highly so doubt it, but I wonder if there's any commentary for the dinosaur jump. All right. Is it an elephant? I want to try to do... I don't know. Now I kind of want to do like a bunch of the uh, the... Optional stuff and see what there's commentary on. Because there was commentary on Take On Me, which was amazing. So I wonder if there's like commentary on the dinosaur jump, on um, Ellie calling Joel a dinosaur. Uh, show how, like, uh, how did Ellie learn how to swim? Because that was such a big plot point in the first game. Yep. <laughs> just, it's just nice to see things were okay for a while between these two i remember feeling oh this is a good this is a good thing to be back in what's up just chandler how are you welcome in welcome in to like you said when, when things were good Women's getting better. remember now don't just flail about you gotta you don't know how Hold thankful on. i am uh to send you this oh well, i'm glad i'm glad the tutorials were able to help Grounded is hard. It is very, very difficult. So I'm, I'm really, really glad that the tutorials yeah. were able to help you. Looks like. <laughs> How's that feel? And I'm glad that you were able to beat it. That's, 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 Refreshing. that's awesome. Yeah, it's that's not really nice awesome. In, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I'm very, very angry, angry and, and upset. upset. Now come on. Uh. Yeah, this is the first time we really see Ellie be able to swim, too. Damn, doing this D-Rest run with the commentary, it's like... It's bringing back so many memories and emotions and 
refueling my love for this game. Like, this is what I needed. I was saying I, ha I was having, like, a T-Lu withdrawal because I haven't been able to play in so long. Like, this is what I needed in my life. Also, how did Joel catch up to me? <laughs> Oreo, hey! How are you? How are you? It's so good to see you. Thank you, thank you. It, it's been it's been a pretty busy pretty busy uh, weeks. I was gonna say a few weeks, but it's been a lot longer than a few. I gotta say, probably like the last, I mean, the last fourteen weeks has been crazy, insane, busy between work and school. My biggest game achievement. I uh, lost about 24 okay. hours. 24 hours to deaths? Holy chalupas! Took 33 but, hours uh, in total. I know my first time playing Grounded Permadeath. <sighs> How many times did I die? It was like 271 deaths or something like that? Just or 171 deaths? How about laser discs? Oh, now I can't remember how much it was, but it was a lot. It was a lot of deaths my first playthrough on Grounded. Oh, I forgot. No, 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 no. I'm in autopilot. We need to try the. We need to try the dinosaur, and see if. Oh my God, it is a dinosaur. See if there's any commentary for this. Joel. I died 188 times. Yeah, I think it was like 172 or something. 170. 171 or something. Commentary? Commentary. No commentary? Come on, commentary! Look at me! I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur! No commentary. Damn. Feels bad, man. But we haven't done that in a while, so it also feels good, man. To be able to do that again. I demand a refund. Alright, let's go to the next one and see if there's commentary there. Uh, it's a book? It's a dinosaur book. Okay. That's crazy, though. Was sitting with my thoughts about the whole time after I died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard. And it's, like, very discouraging to keep going. You know? Commentary? Oh, hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? Damn oh, it. One of the dinosaurs is here. No commentary. No, it's for you. Sorry. Aw, oh, I was... I don't, yeah, can't blame a girl for hoping. No, I get it. Yeah. Okay. All right, there's one more spot that we're gonna look for commentary. See if I can remember where it is. Honestly, like I'm, I'm good that like we had one for take on me, like. That's good on its own. All right. Let's see. Commentary? <laughs> you gotta love it. All right, no commentary. Damn. Damn diddly damn. Feels bad, man. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll just keep going. Did you go to museums a lot? Because we definitely know... The next cutscene is going to have a commentary. Because all cutscenes have commentary. 
Yeah, yeah, Chandler. Um, it's we're we're listening to the uh, what you call it, the director's <gasps> commentary. So, um, Neil Druckmann, Ashley Johnson, uh, Shannon Woodward, oh, uh, all of them like listening to their thoughts about scenes that we're watching and how like things were made and it, it's it's pretty cool it's pretty cool they're hilarious i love them yeah so we're listening to the director's commentary and then we're also doing a d rust run because i haven't played in so long that i'm trying to remember how to play the game <laughs> A, a culmination of so many things, right? So for this moment of just Ellie's love of space, of Joel wanting to make this like moment just beautiful for her, for Walkman. And this idea that Ellie sometimes can, has such a strong imagination and can go into her own head. Actually started with the comic book, the American Dreams comic book. So when she looked at the Raja's arcade she was able to picture it with like children running around. It's like the idea that she can, she's so in love with the old world that um, she does whatever she can to kind of live in it. And that's where we got the idea to really go in her head and make you feel as if she's traveling to space. Take it. There is such a unique nervousness, anticipation and joy um, that comes with a parent giving their kid, trying to give their kid the perfect gift. Right. And if they like it, it's the best feeling in the world. And if they don't, it's <laughs> terrible. Close your eyes. And um, for people familiar with the first game, uh, the, the DLC of Left Behind, there's a, a big parallel here for when Riley tells Ellie, close your eyes. Mm -hmm. And she makes her picture this arcade game. And it's like as if these two people just know Ellie so well of what would make the perfect gift for her. lighting team is such an awesome because there's so much that needs to be conveyed here with just lighting and so they're animating these lights um, and then changing the reflection on the glass it's a lot of tech here a lot of careful crafting to get this moment I also love that we're just with Ellie in this moment you know and it was crafted so beautifully Gustavo to do this little riff mm -hmm. that's it <laughs> and it takes it over the top Oh, I just, the scene is, is so beautiful, but so sad to me. Seriously. Just because it's, because I, I know what's coming. And just seeing Joel trying so hard to reconnect and regrow this relationship with Ellie again. Um, you can see his guilt. You can feel Ellie's shame. It's like, uh, but... Yeah, I watch it and I think it's such a beautiful scene, but there's that level underneath it that's heartbreaking to me. <laughs> it's heartbreaking for all of us. To have um, these happy memories um, that are obviously mixed with like some negative feelings she has about Joel and the choices that he's made. But ultimately, I, I believe she, the, the, the positive, the happy memories overwhelm the negative. Well, I think Ellie is, is so driven by her own shame and guilt. And you need to know why. And it's because there was something worth saving. There was something, there was a true loss here. And, and part of that is her own decision to emotionally protect herself by distancing herself from Joel. But it had a cost. Emotions. Yeah, and it makes the scene even more like moving and emotional. The fact that it's literally after 
John, not John, after Josh, not Josh, after Joel's whole, like, situation, like, after he dies, like, you know? Sorry, my brain, like, I just got a text from John, so my brain was still on, like, John for the J name. Because I just got a text from him. That apparently the new girl that we just hired and only worked one day already quit. So... For you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. Did she work with Myra? <laughs> uh, no. She did meet Myra, but she hasn't. Ha she didn't have the opportunity to work with her yet. Um, her next shift, which would have been Tuesday, she okay, would have had to work with Myra. So, she got out lucky. She got out early. Okay, be safe. The dinosaurs are out. Dodge a bullet, seriously. It's crazy that the turnover rate is so flippin' high. How happy a sequence we have, it's this, this lie and this choice that Joel made is hanging over these characters. As a reminder for Ellie is like, you can't fully let this thing go. Is it really that common though? I mean, I guess in the restaurant business, it really seems pretty common. It's always so exciting to see because obviously when we're shooting this we're on a sound stage and i picture us being there but it's always so much better when i finally see it in the game it's always such a better version of it than i had in my mind part one and part two together it's only it's only it's only right I don't know, Mad Max. Which wife? With food, 100%. I've always, I've had many co-workers co -workers come and go, yeah. Yeah, I've been there for a year. <laughs> Mad Max. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I've been there a year and I've had so many co-workers just come and go. Like, it's at the point where it's like, it feels, it's awful to say, but it kind of feels unnecessary to learn new people's names, like, from the get-go, because you don't know if they're actually going to stay. All right, another random guy. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. It was good seeing you. It was forty dollars. Was that the remake? This is <laughs> you could really hear the puke splashing. Yeah, this, this in the one I, I, Thank this you, one random I guy. Have a good one. I hate hearing that puke splash. Be yeah. me to be um, fixing some kind of computer and, I mean, and then puking in the middle. Really proves how much uh, <laughs> Ellie loves Dina because going up to someone who just puked and getting close to them—that's a lot. I mean, to be fair, yeah. she did stay up all night tracking the radio. So. I know. But she she also puked. Like listen, <laughs> she should date one. I think, I think Dina. Oh, for sure. For sure. I would I would steer clear of the of LA. Maybe Tommy got to him. Maybe. What about her? There's this moment again. We we don't. Ellie doesn't. 
she, where there's a moment where she looks to Dina and then she realizes like how much Dina has been doing. Mm -hmm. You could see the appreciation in her face. I remember this because I felt so bad because the way you were just playing it, you were just so sick, but you were like, I feel like I need to pull my weight oh. since I had called you a burden and I felt like such a piece of shit. This move right here of like scooting in and this back rub thing is such an Ashley move. Well, it's also because we couldn't get too close because when we'd stick together, we'd otherwise stick. she would have held me. Yeah. <laughs> Last night was... I also admire and love this game so much. And I love the people like involved with this game. Like like Ashley Johnson, Laura. Yeah, and then this was again we wanted to leave Dina behind because we wanted this Ellie by herself just these really lonely pursuits. Uh, and it was I felt like it was really it was really hard to justify how we're going to pull it off, but I, I felt like this scene does a good job of it shows Dina tried. No matter, like even if she feels like shit, she wants to be there to help Ellie. We have a street named Hillcrest that I had to drive to the other day to get my um, W two for my last em employers, um, and apparently they live on like a Hillcrest street. And I was like, us, "There's a lot of um, totems." That moment, I was like, "Oh shit! I'm having I'm having the Last of Us withdrawals." Like, I was having the Last of Us, like, flashbacks of Hillcrest and all that stuff. As I was driving there, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> represent certain people, whether it's Joel's watch, Ellie's switchblade, the guitar that's sh shared between them. I did not Joel get thrown down a river. I did not. Bracelet that Dina gives Ellie it's a good thing, good because I can't swim, so. This chamsa, which is a very Middle Eastern thing that uh, was very much in my family. <laughs> I love that. I love that she gives it to her. So mm. it will keep her safe. It's a hamsa and an evil eye within it. It's for good luck. I don't believe in luck. Did we ever establish how Dina got that? Whether that oh, was from her sister? I think it was from her sister, but yeah, that, that's what's in my mind. But I don't know if we ever explicitly say that. That's actually really super sweet, knowing that. It's like foreshadowing here, too, of like the yeah. splitting up, mm -hmm. and then later the splitting up at the farm. You really are, Ellie. Yeah. Hillcrest. I'm sure this is a real place somewhere. I mean, everything in this game is a real place somewhere. I just don't know where. I am, I am actually going to loot this area around, but... Yeah, it's just super unfortunate because, like, I was able to tell that she was going to be, like, a good addition to the team. Um, and, in fact, I was the one that actually interviewed her. Uh, it was my first ever time interviewing somebody. But, yeah, um, and then we hired her. She came in on her first day. Seemed like she was going to be a pretty decent, like, Pretty, de pretty decent, like, addition to the team. And it's just, it's a, it's a shame, you know? It's a shame. That it's hard to find people that will stick around. was aggressive I love how much more wildlife there is in this game shows you that there still is life 
But not everything's dead. Has one direction, uh, regardless of how the story was told. Uh, it was told uh, the way it was. I never once got upset because I knew uh, I must be working towards something bigger. Exactly, exactly. Most people who haven't like finished this game get stuck on one situation and then it causes them to not be able to finish the game and give the game a real chance. I've noticed because um, once I like talk to people who don't like this game and ask them why and ask them if they've ever finished it, they tell me no and that they stopped playing after Joel. Um, so that told me enough as is. <laughs> that told me enough right there. Once I got to the end, I was super right. Yeah. Yeah. This game is a lot bigger than people, than a lot of people give it credit for. There's so much to unpack in this game. It's, it's, it's nutty. I'm very sleepy now. All right, Mad Max, have a good one. Thanks for hanging out and being in chat, and I hope you have a good night. And it's still crazy that you're in India. That's, that's pretty awesome. Pretty crazy. All right, let's see if we remember this. I know I definitely have, definitely have a tutorial video on this. <laughs> but let's see if we could actually do this first try and remember how to do this strat. This strat should be muscle memory. We should not have an issue with this strat. And if we do, something's wrong. That was wrong. But hopefully we're still okay. We're not okay. We are not okay. Damn it. Did I run too soon there? We were doing so well until we weren't. Can I run? We go. Assholes! What the flop? I had it. Ow. Oh, I missed. Because we're starting right here, isn't it? I think this guy's connected to the girl from the school. We had it, assholes. Let me just take my time, because the timing's gonna be off. What is happening?
You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get to the door. I'm going to throw a brick. Because this is stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. Damn it. I didn't even look to see where the guy was. Give me a second. This is stupid. Why am I struggling? Well, right now it's because of the timings off since we're doing a restart encounter. I can't just restart the save file because I didn't save the file. This is what we're gonna do. Hate that I'm gonna have to do this. I hated that I had to do that, but I had to do that to get through it. Why was my timing off? I'm gonna have to look back at like some of these and figure out why. Cause I shouldn't have had to use a smoke bomb there. I shouldn't have, I, I should not have had to be able to, I should not have been forced to do that. But it's one of those situations where if you restart encounter, like the whole thing is gonna be fucked up. That the timing's gonna be off. Now I get to work alone tonight. Thankfully it'll be dead. Yeah, it's Wednesday. It'll be fine, John. Oh yeah, I forgot she was supposed to work tonight. Literally quitting right before your shift? That's super lame. I, I totally forgot she was scheduled for tonight. That's super lame. Quitting, like, literally the day... Like, the day of and right before your shift? Like, she's supposed to be in, like... In an hour, I think? I think she... Like, it's almost four, and I think she was either scheduled for four or five. Oh, that's super lame. Hey, if for whatever reason it's not busy, oh no. If it's busy and you need help, just let me know and I will come in. That's stupid. I'm kind of scared for, like, the rest of this game. If, like, encounters that I never thought a million years I would have an issue with is giving me issues. Kind of scared for the rest of the game, not gonna lie. We don't have a safe... 
command, do we? That has the ability of a thousand noble samurais. Sure seems like it sometimes. Let's see. 30. Fuck. What is it? I don't remember. The last of us two. Safe codes. Thirty. I got the thirty right. <laughs> Eighty-two, sixty-five. I remember the thirty. Did not remember the rest. Is stream elements even here? Is stream elements even alive? Stream Elements isn't in the building. I forgot, I just run in this part. Please don't slap me, please don't slap me. We're gonna live. Okay. So we need to make a molly, another molly. Um, we'll make one of those. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake. All right, see if we remember this part. Hopefully for the love of everything, this one is actually nice to us. I missed both of my shots. <laughs> that is super embarrassing, man. That was supposed to be an easy headshot and it just, it didn't happen. Oh yeah, I need the bow. Forgot I can't leave without the bow. Stream Elements has left the building. I don't even remember what commands I do have. Oh no, Stream Elements is here. <laughs> so that just means we just need to make a command for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, just in case this sucker is stupid, we're going to save it. Not for The Last of Us 2. Hey, man. I think I've only been playing part, oh, like... Did you see her? No, fucking guy is nearby. We're looking for two. I got her! Here. I think we've only been really playing part one. Um... Part one and right no return mode on YouTube since we switch. Right yeah, that hurt. Dodged a bullet. Grab you. Push forward. I gotta run it. Oh, 
See ya! How is it that this encounter treated us fine? How is it that this encounter treated us fine, but... I forgot to not skip. That's where we came up with the idea of um, swapping Joel and Jesse here. This which, encounter treated um, us fine, but Red Door I didn't. Feelings about it in hindsight. It got people excited make about that make sense. Wasn't there this is supposed to be the harder one. You know, our motivation was in the right place of trying to protect the story, but didn't maybe think it through of how it might upset some people. I remember when that trailer came out, then Welcome back, Joshua. assumed that then it meant I was going to die. Right. Yeah, game's going yeah, well. Then we just into Red it, Door right? gave us. Yeah, um, everybody was like texting me, being like, oh, it's, "Oh my god, you die!" Like, and they were like, "It's." Yeah, Red Door gave us a run for our money. For whatever reason, my strat just didn't. Somehow, I got spotted at the door, um, when I should have been able to make it through the door. And so then that just messed up everything, and then I had to restart the encounter multiple times. Which then automatically the timing of everything is going to be off. And it was, it was just, it was, <laughs> Red Door was stupid. <laughs> I was like, what? Wait, oh, I, I can't say anything. And I couldn't, I was just like, lol. LOL. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> Meanwhile, I think when the trailer came out, we were in the studio that day. We were mm. doing VO. And so we were like watching all the, and I was like, yeah, uh oh. Uh, I also like that we get to establish, you know, w Jesse's in charge, but we never get to see why. What, mm -hmm. how, why is this guy so good at what he does? And now we get to see it and get to experience it in gameplay. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Hey, smart about it. Okay. What the hell are you searching for? Correct path. Where the hell's that? Kevin? Speed run. I'll get the keys. Doesn't someone have a med kit? What the hell is going on? Go. Med kit. Okay. Did you know about that arrow hack thing straight after get yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that arrow hack. Ow. That arrow hack is definitely a feels good moment. <laughs> Fun fact, you don't actually have to kill them here because they will not kill you. You just have to kill the driver. So I'm going to kill her anyways. This part of the game's always so loud. Yeah, I definitely love uh, getting the getting the six arrows instead of two. Also, here there's an ammo hack. and it revolves around your aim. So if you can kill the clicker and only two bullets, you get the most amount of ammo you can after this. But if you don't, then you'll get however many bullets you wasted, less. So like right there, I did it in three shots, so I'm going to be one bullet short of what I could have been. 
Red Door was awful. <laughs> it was awful. I had to waste a freaking smoke bomb on it because I just could not get through it. I, I could not for the life of me. Yeah, and then The Last of Us, unlike Uncharted, we don't rely as much on set pieces, especially big stuff like this, but this was such a climactic level um, that we called Rescue Jesse. That we wanted this climactic driving sequence where they crash in the water. And then um, there was a lot of debate of like design-wise, do we want to walk all the way back to the theater? So we decided against it. So this is just a set the tone that Ellie and Jesse got away. They are not being actively chased. And this is just a little trick that we do is pull the camera away from them and then that allows us to cut to where we need to place them. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Also an interesting dynamic that we talked a lot about, yeah. just like this triangle between uh, Ellie, Jesse, and Dina. And the thing we really didn't want to do is any sort of jealousy about are Dina and Jesse going to get back together? Like it wasn't, it was never about that. But it was just more just Ellie feels isolated. And in some ways, she, I, I th I'm, I'm curious to hear what you think, Ashley, but I, I think she kind of wants to be. She doesn't want to be part of this reunion. And she wants oh, to, yeah. She just wants to dwell on what's next. Yeah, I mean, that's how I feel like I was trying to play it. I also feel like... I can relate. <laughs> I was just about to say what Ashley was going to say. I also feel like uh, that's something that Ellie and I also have in common, is that when something... like, And I've already said this at the very beginning of the game. Like, at the very beginning is um, when something's wrong, I like to isolate. So, like, I can feel that with Ellie, that, like, she doesn't want to watch the reunion. She just wants to... She just wants to be alone. To that, when you're like going through something and you're like, I don't want to go through this with anybody else. Yeah. Because it's going to be dark. So I'm just going to yeah. do it myself. Yeah. That sequence takes us I know that feeling flashback. way too There's well. There's a whole history with Joel and how Ellie feels about Joel and what Joel did in the hospital. And she doesn't let Dina into any of that. This is just their own personal thing that she's carrying. And she's still wrestling with that after his death. Ellie is, is very not great at talking about her feelings, which I think is why she's on this mission, because she's not using her words. Oh, that hurts. Not the, uh, using your words. Girls, the first game where um, after the David sequence and Ellie's lost in thought, and then it's like Joel saying, Ellie, Ellie, I think uh, like Ellie has like this some OCD thing where she gets fixated on things and just shuts the world out. I know that feeling. Again, all too well. Man, I mean, I forget my own birthday if she didn't remind me when it was. You should just apologize to her. I just said. Okay, what's going on? Nothing. Why? I can tell when you're off. <sighs> Got some stuff on my mind. Just give me the sniper, Tommy. You let me know if you just, want to just, talk about just give me the sniper. Okay. It'll be all good. Just, just give me the sniper. Got stragglers. How many? Just Guys, I don't think I remember how to do finding strings. My brain is blanking right now. And that's that. That's not good. <laughs> that is not a good feeling. Hopefully it'll be just muscle memory. Are you sure? Well, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> Hopefully I'm just thinking too much into it. See that sign there? There you go. Sounds control. Okay, I missed that one. There you go. Whoops. Whoops. Shit. <laughs> gotcha. Three times the charm. That's all of them. Usually more over this way if you want to keep shooting. Okay. You're a natural. What you think? Beautiful. Okay, where's the last guy? 
Check out the shed. There it is. Looks like they're moving downhill. Why? Hmm. By that tower. You see? Oh, I did it. You really did. Yes. I did it. Well, I'm not seeing any more. There we go. Yeah, me neither. Step one, use your eyes. Step two, uh, look for strings. Step three, profit. I don't think that's how it works. Don't think that's how it works at all. I mean, you can try, but again, I, 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 I think you're missing some steps there. And her over. Hey, thanks for that. I'd make sure needed. Sammy is the other sure. person's sniper. Wow. Wow, man. That's hurtful. But Joel's worried about you. There's that hurts. Nothing to worry about. Well, I'm sure there isn't. But if you don't talk to him, he's going to think something's wrong. I talked to Welcome him. back, Rachel. Well, it's good to, to see you. And bye. I love how how funny Jeffrey is in this scene. Mhm. Mm he's such a yenta. Yeah. Oh, just some stragglers. Ellie got to try out my scope. This was a fun scene. How'd you like it? Yeah, feels good. Oh. The two adults don't really understand what's going on, which is Ellie is like this resentment or this curiosity, whatever it is about what Joel did is, is growing. And this thing that she thought she could let go, she can't. And they just attribute it to like, oh, teenager. She's being a teenager. It's always resulting back to, oh, just being a teenager. I bet they got guitar stuff. Maybe you should just take him out for an ice cream. Maybe you guys should just hang out. <laughs> I love how he did that lane, and I love the tapping of his foot under yeah. the table. Homemade onion rings and ribs? Yeah, Yum! Sure, Joel, whatever. <laughs> did you make enough for the class? He's like, I did my job. <laughs> oh, I love that. So, you and Tommy cross anything when you was out? Just the few we saw from the ridge. You? Uh, you know, found two runners in a house. Meow. Jesse tells me you're handling your own quite well on the group. I hear Ellie meowing. I don't know if you guys heard that. Hair control. Meow. I think you're still a bit young for it. I'm a better shot than almost all of them. And I have more experience than... Most I, I wouldn't say we're a better shot, Ellie. I mean, did you That's just see a, how I handled okay. that? Thanks. It wasn't exactly the best. You know, see how you handle them. All right. No, no, Joel. No, Joel. Bad Joel. Hey, you remember those, uh, I'm staying in front, bud. Comic books that you're into? Yeah. I went the long way. <laughs> My bad. Did you like them? Oh, you know what? Ellie. My cup of tea, but Dr. Daniela Starr, I mean, she's pretty. She's a savage. Well, what she does to Captain Ryan and that. <laughs> what do you think will happen? I don't know what I think will happen. Yeah. But I, mean, I can definitely, definitely tell you what I hope happens. That was a nice twist how they escape, though. <laughs> You're funny. Music stores up that way. I'm gonna have to leave the horses here. Yeah, sounds good. Why is Joel running that way? You need a boost? I got it. Uh, I don't think we can there we go. go. This okay. What? Um, what I hope happens is um. Abby and Liv find the fireflies, hence the Catalina okay, Island. So now what? I'm, I'm up for it. For it. <sighs> Damn it! There we go. Um. Oh, anyways, sure. yeah. So Abby and Liv find Catalina Island, you where the fireflies are. Uh, they realize, oh shit, Ellie is the cure. They still need to find the cure. Yep. 
Um, so Abby then goes on a search for Ellie. Ellie then goes on a search for the Fireflies um, as like her redemption arc after all the shitty stuff she did. Um, and then Abby and uh, brain, 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 brain. Yeah, okay, so Abby and um, uh, Ellie looking. then come across each other. They have their own differences that they have to obviously put aside, oh, wow. and they have to fight alongside oh. each other to get back to where the Fireflies are um, and then realize that they're not so different. Um, that's I, I kind of just want, like, a Abby-Ellie... <laughs> badass like fight alongside each other that's all i want <laughs> that's all i want in life oh <gasps> bonsai there's a bonsai do i have to how are you doing bonsai how was your birthday okay fine i've missed you bonsai Yeah, Fireflies will definitely be involved. For sure. Fireflies are definitely going to be making a comeback. Nobody do, have you? Not Jesse, Dina. Of course not. Okay, good. I want onion rings now. You ever been in here before? I don't know if I remember how to do this strat, so we're saving just in case. That way we don't have a red door incident. They are very easy to make. This is true. You want to say hi to everybody? You little sleepyhead? This entire time, she's been just laying and sleeping on my bed. Alright, I'll let you go now, okay? Alright, goodbye. It was fun while it lasted. So the commentary, um, you go to, I think it's the extras, and then you just have to turn it on and then just start a game. And then once you start the game, it'll, um, it'll automatically be part of the game. I like gifts. I had a nice birthday. I'm glad, I'm glad. You deserve a good birthday. Definitely made it better, really loved the cute little birthday gifts. I'm glad, I'm glad.
turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you never come around. <laughs> Falling asleep on the couch? That's not good. Heck yeah, Joel. All right. So it looks like we did remember our strat. So there's there's that. There's there's definitely that. I forget how much like the stream light in my face makes me tired. Hey, girl. Hey, welcome back. We've missed you. I'm trying to get that out of your way. Hey. Hey. You a little you a little sleepy pants? A little sleepy pants? Yeah? Oh. I love you. Oh. Fine, reject my love. That's fine. <laughs> That's rude. But off stream, you'll be all cuddle cuddle up to me. Seems a little toxic, man. <laughs> seems seems a little toxic. Just saying. Stop talking back to me. Where'd you go? I lost her. I hear her, but I lost her. She became a ghost, Ellie. Joel, I think we did it. Good job, Jimmy. Yeah, me too. So, what do you say we give up on those strings for today? I'm kind of bad on my foot. I think our only way out is for She has a reputation to uphold. Did Joel just push me out of the way? Well, that's rude. I'm not making a ghost Ellie emo. Come on. That looks like it might be something. Following you. Wow, this is gonna be weird not having Benny Hill. It's gonna be really weird not having Benny Hill here. Turn around every now and then I get a little. That song is stuck in my head now. Ellie, where'd you go? You <coughs> fool! <coughs> Runner and it didn't work. It didn't work too well. Damn. Ah, oh, well. I know. I don't have Benny Hill set up. I need to reset up Benny Hill. Sure. 
did it. There you go, Joel. I get out of here. No, you stay there. There you go. What are you doing? I wonder if there's like two bloaters back there. It'll be fine. It's okay. I have a brick. <laughs> I have a brick. If there was two bloaters back here. Spores are clear. Two bloaters, a brick, and a dream. I mean, how often do we get a bloater, really? Like, if you think about it. That was for Bonsai. Not so keen with this one. I hear an Ellie. I see an Ellie. There. Yeah, the, the engineering of this scene, it was important to show that the constant cost yeah. of having not made a cure. And here we have these two runaways from Jackson that mm. have succumbed to the infection. Honestly, Lauren, I'm going to be ending after this cutscene anyways. Reminder for Ellie that so I hope you have a good nap. Things could have been different. And honestly, I'll probably be back on Monday to stream. But she wouldn't be here. I think the next stream will be on Monday. We're also ignoring one of my favorite exchanges in the whole game, which is realizing that Joel does not know that Ellie is gay. What's point. up, Leah? Right How are you? Welcome in, welcome That's in. Right. Where he just yeah, I've been streaming like for about five hours. Right. Like, I just, um, sure and I'm, sure. I'm, I'm oh, honestly yeah. like super hungry. <laughs> it's like he sees her, but there's like a little bit of. So her. after this cutscene, I'm probably gonna go yeah, raid out. We see the full um. And yeah, and we'll be back on Monday. I'm tired of hearing the stories of people suffering everywhere else. Of course, Chandler. Of course, of course. Like I said, I'm just like super, super. I'm super, super happy that those um tutorials have been able to help so many people because that's what they're out there for of exposition and make i don't know yet chris natural. i don't know yet like as if she's right reading this note for the first time and reacting to it and whatever's and in my so fridge or freezer fantastic job of just i always feel like i'm just watching these characters mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh and leah i'm super glad about that i love the lighting here I definitely cannot get Burger King. I need to stop spending money. I spent way too much this past week. Planks, so pretty. But I'm super glad, Leah. That look. It's like she's trying to egg you on to start this conversation. And like I said, I'll be back on. Uh, I'll be back on Monday. So. No, no. Let's talk about this right now. <laughs> After you took me out of the Firefly Hospital. You said there were dozens of people like me. This is the moment you've been dreading, because I've been confronted head on again with this lie. That's what you told me. I've never met another immune person before. Have you? Small details, like we had to do different versions of the tattoo. You could see she, she's got it outlined. It's not filled in yet at this stage. There's something about a, a child confronting their parents, the standing in their power, and how trepidatious, even though like she has the conviction of her argument, right? But just how it still is a thing to stand up to your parents and see me as an adult. Why did you pull me out of there while I was still uh, What are you doing here is kind of fucked up, though, because he gaslights us. He's like, he's I'm saying it's like, you. You're bringing this up now next to these bodies, and he's making her feel shame for having you just brought up this topic. Right. Maybe if you, you just would have given them more time, they could have figured yeah. something out. There was no cure. That is what I've been telling myself. 
There's nothing that can help these people or anybody like else. Like, how many times have I told myself this? Like, if she ever asks, this is what, what I would I tell say? Yeah. Seriously. I wish things were different. I wish things were different. But they ain't. And he just shuts it down. Mm-hmm. Still, Again, it's such great so many lies. Very little dialogue, but you can see how it's just breaking her heart because she doesn't believe any of this. No. Is there something else you'd like to rehash? It's crazy. No, because you'll just lie about it. Yeah, that to me is the greatest sin. And the way you're delivering that no, it's like there's a challenge to him. Like, okay, if that's what you want to say, then that's, we'll go with that. Yeah, because it's just like, no, I don't want to rehash anything else because you're just not going to tell the fucking truth again. I gave you a chance. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I work, but we'll see. Um, Ending images. Have you been playing any other games lately? <laughs> Honestly, uh, to just because like I've been through a lot of stress for a while. Um, with school and work and all that kind of stuff. I've been kind of letting all my stress out the past couple of days in Fortnite. As stupid as that is. Because they, they added, like, Avatar The Last Airbender into Fortnite. And I love Avatar. So I was like, alright, fine. I'll get back into it. And so, like, that's what I've been doing the past couple of days. Is actually, like, releasing my stress in, in Fortnite. But other than that, like, I've been thinking about getting Ghost of Tsushima um apparently days gone is really good i've been needing to get i still need to play miles morales um spider-man 2 uh there's 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 other games out there definitely that i still need to i still need to play about our game choices <laughs> hey i have my own thoughts on fall guys okay my own thoughts and memories that i don't want to relive so I have I have my reasonings. <laughs> oh, I, I like the, um, your action here, Shannon. Which is what about Minecraft? To, to cut the, the thread. Yes, same. Did I do that? You did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That adds up. Yeah, I've been told to play Ghost of Tsushima. It just seems like a fun game. I just have survival have yet to play it. In this game. He's a good guy. Mm. Why didn't you tell him? Weren't we talking so about platinuming a game, reason. though? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I like Minecraft. There you go. What about this? Anything worthwhile? There's that fucking map yeah, this again. Is, uh, the, 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 this is where the conflict starts to bubble back up between these two. It makes it so <laughs> sad because it's like <laughs> See, there's a difference. You can't just twist my words around, Chris. There's a difference between platinuming a game and just playing a game to, um, to like, let out your steam. Like, I have not tried to platinum or anything, if you can, Fortnite. <laughs> I just play it to kill bots because I, i'm convinced that's the lobbies i'm in i'm convinced i'm in bot lobbies um because last night i literally got third place and with 18 eliminations so i'm i'm convinced i'm in bot lobbies <laughs> but but um but there's a difference between playing that to let out my steam versus platinuming a game It was just 20 achievements. I don't remember that part. I don't even know what, like, your achievements for Minecraft would be. It would be funny if I'm, like, saying, like, oh, I could never, and then I actually do have it platinum, and I don't even know. That would be funny. Just stick with Dina. <laughs> Look how you have love and care. It's so interesting, because it's what The Last of Us is about. It's like, yeah. it, within this room right now, you have, like, two kinds of love. There's this very positive one with Dina, and this kind of negative one of, like, I got to get the people that hurt the person I love most, Joel. Like you're gonna go now? Yeah. <laughs> and where now the negative one is trumping the positive one. She could be gone by then. She's gotta make the lamb stop screaming, you know? We know her location. Seriously. And she's using Tommy as an excuse in a very minor way now and a much more significant way later. And it's, it's funny, it's like all these, like Maria, Tommy, and now Dina realize I, I can't convince her otherwise. She's mm -hmm. just gonna go do it. 
So all I can do is support her. Well, it's a addiction narrative, yeah. right? It's like you, you, you have to wait until and they bottom out. And it's the foreshadowing that eventually Dina says, I can't do it anymore. Damn. Uh, all of my friends begged me to play Fortnite. Um, I got to get into it. Right. It's it's a learning like curve. It's a learning five. curve. I definitely prefer um, zero build because I just I just can't get into building. I was actually thinking about this last night where um, zero build is actually the best thing Fortnite added to the game because it allows like so many more people to enjoy it. Because like ever since they added zero build, I have not gone back to build mode. All right. Well. I'm going to go ahead and get off. Um, I will catch you guys later. Uh, like I said, I will be back on Monday. Um, I won't have work on Monday, so I'll be back on Monday. We'll be chilling. We're going to go ahead and raid P-Dub because P-Dub just went live. Uh, let me mute P-Dub. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and hang out at P-Dub's. So I will catch you guys later. Have a good one. And until next time, bye guys.